All right. Hey, YouTube. How's everyone doing? This is Silver Husky. What's up, Arzu Enzu? Hey, DA Sales. What's up, man? He's doing like a flash dance right now. It's kind of awesome. All right. Um, yeah, let's go. That's right, man. I got a lot to talk about before we get started with the auction. Uh, just a whole lot of... Um, a lot of craziness going on with that uh, that new Galileo coin. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Watch the video that I put out lately. Uh, hey Reese, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been nuts, man. Hold on. Um, let's see. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to open up my YouTube real quick so I can write you guys while we're chatting. I see we got a few people in the chat. Looks like we've got seven viewers, guys. Please take a second real quick to hit the like button. Chilling in Kentucky. Cool, man. You're only a couple states over from me. That's awesome, brother. All right, let me go to my page right quick. Uh, cool thing, my daughter's birthday, Green Husky. Uh, her birthday was yesterday, uh, so or actually two days ago, Friday. So guess what we got her? Uh, we got her a, <laughs> a 3D printer. So yeah, I, I needed one and she's been begging for one. So I'm like, hey, let's kill two birds with one stone right there. Uh, so we went ahead and did that. She's got a really nice AnyCubic uh, Photon, which is super cool and uh, very, very high level of detail that goes into whatever gets printed out there. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, all right, yes, sir, I'm here permanently. Really cool, Reese. That's awesome, man. Well, welcome to Kentucky. I'm not in Kentucky, but that's awesome. Congrats on the move, man. What's going on, G-O-A-T guy? Uh, sled hockey and that, good to see you. Simp Town, Miles Hall, good to see you. Very cool. Again, guys, if you're just popping in, please don't forget to uh, hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. Um, here we go. I'm gonna turn my volume down real quick and jump on over. I'm gonna turn on the uh, the camera because I wanna show you guys the, um, the that whole debacle with the Galileo coin. I think that'll at least be a good five to 10 minutes of conversation right there. Um, just to show you guys really what that, what, what it is, right? It's, it's not, it's not any different between the BU and the proof. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras. You guys get to watch a really cool, uh, commercial that I created. It's really simple. Don't laugh at me guys, but this is our, uh, metal merchant intro, uh, from silver Husky. So here you go, guys. Ready? guys well welcome back uh <laughs> hope you enjoyed that little commercial break uh it's actually it was fun to create uh but yeah man it's gonna it's gonna be nicer just give me a little bit to work on that but uh but yeah all right guys so 12 likes in the chat thank you guys so much let me go ahead and read through the comments real quick um looks like goat guys from nebraska very cool oh snap 3d print some pores darn right jonathan reese that's the plan man that's what i'm talking about uh, all right, we've got Aunt Frey, good to see you, 302. Galileo looked really nice. Yes, Jonathan Reese. And the Fafnir says Herb Ash. That's right, man. 
Husky, you got to trade that Scrog to me, man. Are you talking about the Scrooge? Uh, the Scrooge that I just picked up from uh, D'Souza? Yeah, it's not in yet, man. I think it's going to ship in mid-March, so I'm excited to see it. Husky, when's the full gold stack video coming? Hey, not doing a gold stack video yet, man. I need I need a lot more to be able to even hold a candle candle to some of the people uh, in the uh, even in the chat, man. Like you got some of these good people like uh, like DOA. I don't know if you guys know who DOA is. Awesome. Mess around with DOA. Be on your way. That's the dude right there. He just popped into the chat. Good to see you, DOA. Welcome. Uh, we got Mask Man, and guys, speaking of Mask Man, uh, I want to show you guys real quickly something really cool that Mask Man uh, made for me. This is a coin stand, and he noticed that <laughs> my coins keep falling over, and they're all in like these weird angles and stuff, so it's not conducive to, uh, to a good show. So he was kind enough to make me this really cool coin stand right there. So thank you so much. Let me shift some of this stuff over. Uh, all right, so yes, so good to see all you guys. And we got Silver Soldier Fortune. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Got two more one tenth ounce gold eagles coming in this week, hopefully. Very cool, man. You know, I hear uh, there's a lot of people who are expecting to get some uh, some of that government stimmy money, and uh, they're going to be dumping it all into gold and silver, so that'll be really cool, guys. All right, so here it is. I'm going to show you guys while we have a few minutes. Uh, I want to show you guys this gorgeous, gorgeous coin that I just got from Atmex. I think I just got it uh, a couple days ago, but look at that, guys. That is the Galileo, all right, the Galileo. That is a sick looking coin, and look at that proof-like mirror finish. Yeah, man, that's, you can see everything. You can see my arm, you can see the camera, uh, you can see outside my window over there. It's it's very, very proof-like, and, uh, and look at the opposite side i don't know which one's the obverse or reverse maybe this is the reverse uh but yeah that is that is definitely shiny enough to be called a proof i could do my hair in it as you can see i am bald you can see my reflection right there i don't have hair but if i did i could definitely do that in this coin i am gonna set that right there for you so oh that didn't hold hold on there we go i'm gonna set that bad boy right there all right so that is the proof or is it Right? Or is it, right? Actually, that is the brilliant uncirculated because I have the proof right here. I'm going to show it to you guys. All right. There is the, the COA mintage of 100. And, uh, and here we go. I'm going to show you guys this coin. Huh. Exact same finish. Still as mirror as the last one right you can still see my bald head up there uh, you can still see out the window just the same it is literally no different there is no difference between the two and i'm going to show you again okay so the one in my right hand is the brilliant uncirculated the one in my left hand is the proof is there a difference eh i'm gonna say no there is really no difference. And DOA says, show us that ring, Husky. I'll show it to you in just a second, man. Let me just finish making this point right quick. And uh, and yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, tell me, is there a difference? Can you tell if if I had to, if I had to, uh, I don't know, bet on it, you know, a thousand bucks, which one's the proof, which one's not the proof? Okay, it's impossible to tell. I'll tell you that much. But there is a price difference. Right, the BU, this one right here, this BU uh, cost me $35. This proof, right, you can see my bald head right there. This proof was $360. Now, how? I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Maybe the box, yeah, maybe it's a $320 box or something and the rest of the, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, this is BU, this is proof. Difference? Uh-uh. Zero. So that was a big flop on the new A coin. Um, flop for anybody who got the proof like me. So yeah, proof going right back into the proof box. Uh, and I'm waiting to hear back from Atmex. They did originally write me back and say, like, too bad, so sad. Actually, let me, let me read you. I'm going to read you guys what they told me because this was a very interesting little email 
that I was almost appalled because I, I explained to them the problem. It wasn't a complaint and it wasn't pointing the finger at them. I was just explaining the problem. And to that, they said, thank you for contacting Atmex. The difference between the two coins is not the look or design of the coin. The mintage is what makes the price difference. For the proof coins, there's a mintage of 100. For the BU, there's a mintage of 10,000. This causes the price difference, but not a difference in appearance. So basically what Atmex said is that it can be the exact same coin, but because they're calling it a proof, uh, it's worth more, which I responded that that is not cool. I said, I disagree. There's literally zero difference between the two coins and a proof coin and a BU coin are never the exact same. The proof should have a noticeable difference. These are identical. Please contact the mint and confirm. Thank you. That was my response to them. We'll see what they say. But anyways, just wanted to keep you guys in the loop of that whole debacle there. Uh, it, it is really not a good look for the new A, uh, new A mint, right? But hey, let me be the one to learn the lesson and uh, you guys learn from my mistakes, right? Clinton S, what's going on? Clinton S, I haven't seen you in a minute, man. Where you been at, bro? Good to see you. All right, let me pop open my chat again. Uh, just a second. Here we go. Okay, let me say hi to some people, then we'll jump right into business here. Uh, let's see, DOA Husky balling now. I don't think so, man, <laughs> says Jonathan Reese. Getting there, man. Uh, maybe they did send me the wrong one. Jonathan Reese is asking if they sent me the wrong one. I'm not sure. Um, you know, that's something that I, I asked as a question to Atmex. Please check with the Mint. Maybe they just, they just screwed up and put the wrong coin in there, but I don't know that there could be any difference because that BU really does look like a proof. I think they just minted 10,000 of the proofs with another 100 of the proofs calling it proof. I don't know. Uh, I think they're messing with you. Yep. Um, above $5 on the right, there's marks. Um, is there? I don't know. I'll, I'll check that. I'll see if there is a real big difference there, Rhonda Tolliver. Uh, I, I couldn't find a difference. I really, I looked at it under a scope. I couldn't find any difference. Uh, Silver Soldier Fortune says, I see the proof. Talk about rigged mint trying to pull a fast one on everybody. And it is a beautiful coin, Siren Silver Stash. I'm not denying that. It is a gorgeous coin. I just wish there was a difference between the two. Uh, the leftist proof looks like it has more of a glow. I'm, I, I'm telling you, uh, Silver Soldier Fortune, if they were all shoved in a bag, I don't think anybody could pick out the proof from the others. Uh, if you had them all mixed in, there's no way. Uh, I think they might have sent you two proofs. I actually have 12. I don't have just two. I have, I have uh, 12 of the BUs and one of the proofs, and the proof came in that presentation box. All right, hope everyone's having an awesome day. Guys, we have a lot of stuff lined up for today, a lot of stuff for today's auction, so it's gonna be quite interesting. We don't need no stinking Atmex, just a metal merchant. That's what I'm talking about, Jonathan Reese. Amen to Mr. Reese says DOA. Man, I am way behind on chat. All right, <laughs> I, I have two more one-tenth gold coming my way, says Silver Soldier Fortune. That is awesome. Thank you so much for, for all of your, your support. Silver Soldier Fortune, thank you for Mask Man for making this really cool coin stand for us. That's awesome. Uh, DOA says, they are in fact the same. If they sent you 12 proofs by mistake, you would have 11% of the entire proof market in possession. That is true, and I know that's not the case because Stormy would have the other six, right? So that's kind of crazy. Um, all right, here we go. want to show you guys this awesome, awesome ring I picked up. Uh, this is a coin ring, right? And this is the Mexican Dos Peso. Uh, I'm, I'm new to the jewelry game. As you guys know, I'm just, I always rock this one. This is my uh, channel set wedding band. And, uh, and yeah, look at this. This has that nugget finish to it. And it is just a stunning, gorgeous piece. And so, yeah, I, I picked this one up off of a, a seller on uh, Facebook. Very proud of it. I like it a lot. Uh, the Dos Pesos looks really cool in the middle, and it's got, you know, some diamonds uh, set around it, a little halo, so it's super cool. But yeah, I like it. Very nice ring. Very nice. Okay, guys, it is 12.55, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into the, um, into the logistics of this auction, and then we'll kick it off, right? We'll get it started. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Look at that. Bomb. 
beautiful, fancy. Love it. You guys are awesome. Need me a coin ring. Got the silver one ounce Fortuna in bezel and a quarter ounce silver uh, Norfed in bezel. That's awesome, man. I don't know too much about embezzling, but uh, hey, you know, do your thing, brother. <laughs> Just no rings yet. Awesome. You're auctioning the ring, right? Yeah, starting bid, 1100 Starting bid, 11 No, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to read you this real quick, guys. I want to thank everybody for stopping by today. Uh, this is, of course, the, the Silver Husky Sunday auction. Uh, if you want to get on the Silver Husky mailing list, I definitely recommend you do that. Please check the description section. It's going to be the first link right there. Second link you're going to find is a link to the Metal Merchants Instagram page. Uh, big things popping over there and a lot of changes and transitions coming. A lot of good stuff is happening. We've been in the works. Basically, uh, I think on my end, it's like five or six hours a day. On uh, on DOA's end, it's like more like 15 to 16 hours a day. So it's been pretty intense and awesome and a lot of progress happening. A lot of big things coming, guys. Um, so yeah, make sure you check out the Instagram page and that'll lead you to what's next, right? Also, please uh, consider joining channel membership. A link to that is in the description section. For this auction, there will be no purchase necessary to participate. YouTube is not a sponsor of this show or liable for any of the actions taken on this channel. I am not a financial advisor. Trust your own judgment and use your discretion when making financial decisions. To the auction winners, please remit payment promptly, meaning by the end of the live stream. Uh, shipping will be $4 within the U.S. For outside of the U.S., please be prepared to pay the difference. I'm no longer accepting PayPal friends and family, but I do accept PayPal goods and services with a 3% bump, uh, as well as Cash App, uh, Venmo, and Zelle. You don't have to do any kind of fee to that. That is standard, just normal pricing, right? Uh, yeah, so anyways, above all, I hope you all have a fun time. Keep it clean and good luck. Uh, guys, we're going to be moving through product really quickly. As I mentioned, I have a lot of stuff today, a lot of stuff today. So we are going to... Uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I see that we have 28 likes so far, and I want to thank you guys for hitting that like button. Actually, no, I'm only seeing 22 likes. 27 watching, but 22 likes. So if you guys want to hit that like button, and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Now, we had, we have an end of stream giveaway. That end of stream giveaway is still going. It is, it is a lot, a lot of silver, a lot of silver and some proof clad and other stuff. But here's what we're going to do. For every, for every 25 likes, I'm just going to throw an extra dime into the end of stream. So we're at about 25, so we'll call it 25 likes. There's the first dime getting added to the end of stream uh, because I don't want to lose any momentum or, uh, or whatever, just get distracted because I tend to do that. So that's all just going to go to the end of stream. So you definitely want to make sure you stick around for that. And we'll count it all out at the end. Great, I just dropped a dime. Uh, I'm dropping dimes. Here we go. It is good to go. So we're gonna jump right into it. As I mentioned, we're gonna move really quickly because there's just a whole lot of product, a whole lot of auction items to get through. So the very first item up for auction today, and by the way, we do have Green Husky here. Green Husky just stepped in and she's gonna be helping me with the uh, annotation side of everything. She's been working very diligently with her super cool, uh, what is it called, the 3D printer. Look what she just made. Like, she just wants me to show it to you guys. She just made this six-legged octopus, right? So it's like an insectopus, right? So it's got six legs. And it's super cool because she just made it. So congratulations, Green Husky, on your birthday and on making these really cool things. So awesome job. Uh, all right, so practice makes perfect, right? <laughs> I see that's a Geiger bar in the corner. Yeah, that is. It's, I got a 250-gram and a 10-ouncer in the corner. But that's not what we're bidding on today. Uh, trying not to order another coin ring. They are addicting. That's right, DA Sales. All right, everybody's saying hello to Green Husky. Yeah, it was her birthday, so she uh, she definitely had a great weekend. We did P.F. Chang's. All right, first item. We're going to do two Buffalo Nickels. All right, it looks like a 1935 and a 1935. Two 1935 Buffalo Nickels. Very nice nickels. Up for grabs today. Let's put. Let's see if both of these puppies will sit up here. And I think they will. Yep, they will. All right, there we go. So there we go. We got two Buffalo nickels up for grabs. Let's let's have some fun, guys. Let's start the, the bidding at two bucks. Two dollars. I wish I had a 3D printer, says Aunt Frey. I know, that's right. 
we were wanting one for a while and green husky had been asking for one for a long time and i told her no i said you're getting a coin for your birthday you're not getting any 3d printer get out of here <laughs> i love big heavy custom silver jewelry yeah that's good stuff man all right do we have two dollars two dollars for the uh for the buffalo nickels all right, two dollars for the buffalo nickels. All right, they aren't puppies; they are buffaloes. That's right. I got Richard Martin at two dollars for buffalo nickels. Richard Martin, I got you with the first bid. First bid, Richard Martin. Let's see what we can do for that one. I don't know. Let's uh, let's do this one. Huge uppercut by Adam. That might be the knockout punch at $2. I do have Silver Soldier of Fortune at $2 also. Clinton S. at $4. Clinton S. $4 to Clinton. Uh, Green Husky, do you want to man the... Uh... Thank you. Thank you. Green Husky's going to try to man the, uh, the control board for the, the cool little clips. So that'll be fun. All right, I got Clinton S., at four dollars clinton i'm gonna count it down to you my friend here we go we're going three by the way clinton it is great to see you man and two and one and i'm typing in sold to clinton oh no i cannot type in sold because silver soldier of fortune came in at five dollars five dollars to silver soldier of fortune cue the uh no i was saying cue the oh 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 uh. <laughs> cue the video clip there we go okay so we got three and two that was a nice snipe. And one, Bo Palmer, what's happening, my friend? And I'm typing in sold. Was there a snipe? Oh, there is a snipe. Nice snipe. He says six. Clinton S with six dollars. Six dollars to Clinton S. Clinton S. with the snipe and mask man with a wonderful donation and birthday gift to Green Husky. Thank you. Clinton S., I got you at $6. Here we go. Clinton S., I'm counting that down to you. We're going three. And two. Will Lancaster, what's happening? Good morning and afternoon to you. And one. And we're typing in sold. Did it take? Did it take? I don't know, because that was a heck of a snipe a second ago. Here we go. I see sold. All right, it is sold. Congratulations. Congratulations, Clinton S. $6 to you, my friend. Lovely, lovely nickels. That is awesome. All right, you have this right here. You can start doing that. All right, awesome. Yeah, you can just scribble that out. That's fine. Cool. Okay, guys, so next item up for grabs today. Congratulations, Clinton S. Give them to Green Husky. There you go. Clinton S. says they are for Green Husky. Say thank you. Thank you, Clinton S. That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, here we go, guys. The next item. That, that's amazing generosity, by the way. Let me just say thank you so much to Clinton S. for that. That's really cool, man. All right, here we go, guys. See Weave in the house. Okay, as you guys know, anything gold on the Silver Husky auction is always going to have free shipping. Free shipping with anything gold. And this is the one Nevada gold back. One Nevada gold back. Beautiful design, really nice artwork, and it is one one thousandth of a troy ounce. So here you go, guys. We're going to... Ooh, there it goes. I don't, I don't know that this one's going to... Nope. So we're just going to... We're just going to lay it right there. All right, guys. We're going to start this one off... Let's start this one off at $2. $2 to start. Do we have $2 on the one Nevada gold back? One Nevada gold back. $10 Silver Soldier of Fortune with a strong bid. $10 to Silver Soldier of Fortune. And guys, I have an announcement to make. I'm going to make it right about halfway through the show. 
a uh, really big announcement. This is something uh, new, something separate. All right, I got Silver Soldier of Fortune at $10. I'm going to do a little graphic for Silver Soldier of Fortune. All right, here we go. Silver Soldier of Fortune at $10. I'm going to count it down to you. All right, we are going three and two and one and i'm typing in s o l d to silver soldier of fortune let's see if it takes sold it is sold congratulations silver soldier of fortune great bid that was a drop in a hammer man drop in the hammer real fast that is for silver soldier of fortune all right, guys, next item. I'm going to need to use the Mask Man produced uh, coin holder. This is a one gram Geiger made in Germany. Schloss Guldengasse, right? I'm not sure what it means, but it sounds very German. And we have these cool one grammers. As you guys know, these are a hot commodity, and they're even hotter when they're in the little assay cards. Uh, those, are, those are really, really cool. So we're going to start that one off. Let's start that one off at... Five dollars. Five dollars to open. Five dollars to open on the one gram Geiger. Congrats, Silver Soldier of Fortune. That's awesome. All right, I got ten dollars to see Weave. Twelve to Vic Stacking Schloss. He says I'm not playing around. Fifteen to see Weaver. C. Weaver with the high bid of 15. I got some backup bids. Some backup bids. All right, so I got 18. Vic Stacking Schloss. Vic Stacking Schloss. That's such a cool name, man. Sounds powerful. I wouldn't mess with you. Vic at 18. I'm going to count it down to Vic. Here we go. Vic at 18. Three. And two. Moving quick, guys. And one. And I am typing in S-O-L-D. Yep, here we go. Is it sold? Some reason I want to listen to Ramstein. Ha ha. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that is. Jonathan Reese, please forgive me. Silver Husky, what's your cash app? Because the one in the description isn't working. Really? Uh, make sure you're spelling it right. It's a millionaire, uh, E-M-I-L-I-O-N-A-I-R-E-81. Right? That's kind of hard to, maybe I need to put something behind it so you can see the color a little bit better. There you go. E-M-I-L-I-O-N-A-I-R-E-81. Um, it's also in the description section, should be down there spelled out. So that might help. You can probably copy paste it from there. Cool. All right, um, here we go. Only one L. There you go, C Weave. That is awesome. Congratulations. Did I did I type in? Yeah, I did type in sold. All right, congratulations, Mr. Vic. Mr. Vic on the win. All right, very cool. <laughs> yeah, Clinton S, it happens more often than you could imagine. Actually, a lot of people also spell Husky with an E when they try to send payment and it goes to some other dude. I don't know, that guy gets a lot of money. So... <laughs> Anyways, all right, next item up for grabs today, guys. This one is a one-tenth ounce round, right? It's not a coin. This is a round. It's a Liberty round, like a walk-in Liberty looking coin. Uh, round, sorry. Silver, one-tenth ounce. So we're going to start this one off at $3, $3, right? And it's not an assay card. It's just a little capsule meant for nickels. But hey, that one-tenth piece fits in there. So let's go ahead and put this up at $3, Three dollars to open. Hey, I got it. Clinton S got your uh, got your payment. It went through. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you, buddy. All right, I got thirteen to Silver Soldier of Fortune. Thirteen to Silver Soldier of Fortune. Wow. I don't think anybody can mess with that. I don't think anybody can mess with that. All right, Silver Soldier of Fortune. That's a heck of a hammer drop, man. We're going to count it down to Silver Soldier of Fortune. Here we go. Three, two, 
and one. And I'm typing in S O L D to Silver Soldier of Fortune. It is a one tenth ounce round, a Walking Liberty round. Congratulations, Silver Soldier of Fortune. That is yours, buddy. That was awesome. Awesome. Fast win, man. He knows how to drop the hammer, that's for sure. All right, guys. If you haven't seen them before, I've only had a few of these on my show, uh, but this is the five Nevada Goldback. As you guys know, the Nevada Goldbacks are the new ones. Utah were the first series, then they came out with Nevada. This is the Nevada Goldback. And again, this is one two hundredth, right? Where the one Goldback is one one thousandth, this is one two hundredth of a Troy ounce. Again, a gorgeous design. Uh, front and back, right? The back side is kind of like the negative of it, but it looks pretty cool. If you were to melt this down, you would actually get one two hundredth of an ounce of gold right there. So let's go ahead and move this and uh, we'll lay that puppy right there. And let's start this one off at uh, 15. 15 to open for the five Nevada Goldbacks. Right on. All right. Hey, Aaron Krause, how you doing? Welcome to the show, my friend. All right, and for those of you just popping in, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that. But don't forget to hit like. Like is important. Likes help me out. Uh, all right, and thank you for doing that when you do, by the way. The more likes we get, the closer we get to uh, the next addition to our end of stream giveaway. Every 25 likes, another dime's going to go into the end of stream. Right now, we're sitting at just about $3, I believe, of constitutional silver that's going to be given away. That's not insignificant, guys. That's not insignificant at all. All right, I've got Silver Sea Captain at 15. It's all good backing it up as well as Silver Soldier Fortune all at 15. Uh, Captain has the high bid, but Sea Weave comes in out of nowhere with 16. Wow, Green Husky's getting good at this button pushing thing. Good job. All right, <laughs> where's Mikey, LOL? I don't know. Who's Mikey? I'm not sure. 20 Silver Sea Captain. 20 to Silver Sea Captain. And they are duking it out. And Green Husky says, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, Clinton S. isn't insignificant, but is goofy. Uh, I don't know what, I, I, I don't know who called you insignificant. I think you're significant. You're significant to me, man. Uh, hi again, Siren Silver Stash. All right, so I have got Silver Sea Captain at 20. Silver Sea Captain, I'm going to count it down. Here we go. We're going three and two. MRG 22, what's up? And one. This is for the five gold back. Five gold back bills. All right, here we go. I'm typing in. Nope, it is 21 to Silver Soldier of Fortune with the snipe. 21, Silver Soldier of Fortune. Gotcha. Hey, big guy. The sun's getting real low. That is right. All right, we're going to go ahead and count that down to SSOF. Three. Two. One. And typing in. That was not how you spell sold. S-O-L-D. And sold. Congratulations, Silver Soldier of Fortune. That is yours, my friend. What's up, everybody? Says Plumber Stacker. What's going on, Plumber? Welcome to the show. Hope you're doing awesome, my friend. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to need the scale for this next item just to prove that it's not real, right? This is not real. This is a, uh, a, a Ford 1911. Very, very cool looking piece right here. Uh, for those of you enthusiasts, I actually do own a 1911. It uh, doesn't look too dissimilar from this one. But we're going to throw this on the scale because I want to make sure. Let me get it on ounces Troy. Oh, hold on. It says it's unlevel. There we go. I'm going to put it on ounces Troy so you guys can see it. And there it goes. It is just about 0.4 ounces Troy. All right, so you guys know. Hey, Plumber Stacker, what's up, man? Bend the wall. <laughs> He's bending the wall for 20 bucks. Oh, man, I wish I wish it was that easy, bro. Uh, that is that is a nice gesture, though. Thank you so much, Plumber Stacker. Super generous, my friend. Uh, that is awesome, man. I, I really thank you for that. 
All right, so again, 0.4 ounces. We're gonna start this one off at 18, 18 to open. Yeah, that's an orange one, man. That's an orange, uh, orange donation bar. That's pretty awesome. I think those stay up for like five minutes or something. That's awesome. All right, 1911, three nines fine silver. Beautiful, beautiful pour. All right, kids get arrested for bringing their Lego guns to school. Yeah, weirder things have happened, man. That's that's not a, that's not bad, man. Mask man, I plan on it tonight. Finally, all moved in. Just unboxing now. Lots to catch up on. All right, I got uh, Bodine at twenty. Bodine with the high bid of twenty. And it is Silver Sea Captain at 25. Silver Sea Captain with the high bid of 25. That is a nice bid. 25 to Silver Sea Captain. All right, guys. I'm going to count it down. Silver Sea Captain is about to get a 1911. For 25 here we go i'm more of a sig guy hey all good man i know they the sigs got the uh what is it the p365 it's a pretty pretty awesome piece i i do like 1911s though something about them man all right three and two and one ah here you go richard martin's a smith and wesson kind of guy i used to have a uh walther p99 that i think smith and wesson also made a uh, some kind of similarity to that Smith and Wesson 45 or something. All right. And I'm typing in sold. That is sold to silver sea captain sold to silver sea captain, Mr. Captain. Congratulations. That's a cool piece. All right. If you want, you can put that in a flip right in here so that you can put the sticky note on it. All right, so again, I've got Green Husky helping me out. Huge, huge help to me. Thank you so much, Nicolette. You uh, you only missed a couple of pieces, not a whole lot. I think we're only about six items in so far. So yeah, all right, next one up, guys. And, and welcome to the show, by the way. Really appreciate it. Uh, and The Saint, good to see you. All right, all the cool people here today. Almighty, what's happening, man? Walter P99, 40 over here too. Very cool, man. All right, here's what we got, guys. Here's what we got. We have three old dimes. I'm going to bring them out for you one at a time. Three old dimes. First one's a Mercury, 1943 Mercury. They're probably not all going to fit on there. Maybe they will. I don't know. The next one is a 1935 Mercury. All right. And then the last one is a Barber dime. And this Barber dime is, it looks like 1900. A little bit harder to see. It's got that toning that makes it very difficult to see. It is a bar and I knew that was going to happen. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we'll just show one of the, the Barbers and one of the Mercuries together, and the other one's going to be right here. So it's going to be all three of those, right? All three of those. Here we go, guys. We're going to start off with the first lot of three dimes, and these are going to start off at, let's go, $6 to open. Dimes down, dimes down. That's right, Clinton S., uh, Aaron Krause says, I have uh, the P220 and 9 mil. 5,000 of them were imported, trying to get law enforcement to pick them up at service weapons, but they never took. Ah, makes sense, man. All right, $6 for the three dimes. That is cheaper than current going rate for, uh, for junk silver, guys. And these are the older ones, so you know that they carry a nice little premium to them. All right, $6 to open. Do we have $6? Let me get the next items on the lot. Okay. I have $7. Nadila, good to see you, Nadila. All right. I don't know if you were lurking or what, but here's Nadila at $7. Nadila at $7. All right, Nadila, I think that you might be the one to buy these. Let's go ahead and count this down to Nadila. Three. Like I said, we don't sit on stuff. We move quick. Silver Sea Captain at ten dollars. Hey, big guy. The sun's getting real low. 
And Silver Sea Captain with the high bid of $10. We're going to count it down to SSC. We got three, two, and one. And I'm typing in sold, guys. No, I am not. And Adila said 11. And Silver Sea Captain with 12. So we're going to count it down again. Here we go. Silver Sea Captain, three. We got Cap at three. Nope. Nadila at 13. Class dismissed. That is a firefight for sure. All right, here we go. We're going to go three to Nadila. Nope, I'm not because Silver Sea Captain said 14. Silver Sea Captain at 14. Uh, there was a firefight! <laughs> I think Green Husky's kind of discovering where all of the, uh, the little graphics are. So it's kind of all over the place, but she's doing really awesome. So that's really good. All right, Silver Sea Captain at 14. Nadila at 15. <laughs> And let's count it down. We're going to see who gets this. We're going three, two, and one. And I am typing in S O L D. And that is sold, sold to Nadila. Congratulations, Nadila. These are now your. Beautiful Mercury Dimes and Barber Dime. Congrats, my friend. All right, if you want to put those in a baggie, there's some baggies up there so that they don't get separated. There you go. Very nice. All right, let me get a glove on real quick, and we're going to do a, uh, a little bit of a, a different item. This is a uh, like an art piece. Not an art piece. What would you call it? A generic round. It's like an art round. It is a 1999 uh, polar bear Christmas piece. Right, okay? kind of looks a little bit like uh, like the Coca Cola bear. So this is a Happy Holidays 1999 Coca Cola Christmas piece. Let's look at the back side. Has the uh, the Christmas ball, right? The decoration right there. The bulb, 1999. All right, we're gonna party like it's 1999, folks. All right, let me put this one right up here. It's in relatively great condition considering its age. That is a 22-year-old piece right there. Believe it, 22 years, guys. How do I know that? Because I have a son that was born in 99, and he's turning 22. Cray cray. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start this one off at 27. 27. There we go, 27. That is spot. Spot on, guys. Spot on. All right, 27 to open. All right, Clinton S. says, Silver Husky and everyone have a phenomenal auction. I will try to stop back. Well, we hope you do stop back, Clinton S. It was great seeing you, my friend. And we'll see you real soon, buddy. All right, C. Weave at 30. C. Weave, I got you at 30. Opening bid for C. Weave. Later, Clinton, says Jonathan Reese. All right, Sea Weave, you know what? Let's do this. We're going to count it down to Sea Weave. She's going to get herself a nice piece for cheap, guys, for cheap. Here we go. Three, two, and one to Sea Weave. Here we go. We're typing in S O L D. Sea Weave, that is sold to you, my friend. Congratulations, Sea Weave. Nice. Good win. All right. That was awesome. Okay, next piece, guys. Next piece, guess what I need? I need this again. We always want to confirm with the, uh, you know, with anything that has, um, like, anything that's a poured piece. We want to confirm the weight. Uh, it has stamped on it three ounces. So I'm starting up the uh, the scale. This is a Mutiny Metals. 
A lot of you guys like these really cool pieces that have the uh, skull and crossbones on it. Mutiny medals, right? And I believe on one of these sides, there it is, says uh, three ounces, three nines fine silver. All right, let's go ahead and pop this puppy up here. You guys see it is at zero. We put this one on. Oh, it's a little over three. What do you know? Three and some change. So that's cool. You get a little bit of extra. One tenth of an ounce extra. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. So that is the Mutiny Metals piece. Let me go ahead and get this, this puppy out of here. Mutiny Metals piece. Three ounces. Let's do 85 to open. 85 to open. Very cool. Yeah, look at that. Sea Weave's like, yay, I got that for cheap. Right on. Like I said, we're moving, guys. We're moving quick. Moving quick. All right, donated my only Mutiny Metals piece yesterday to help Johnny Ray. Well, that was very generous of you, Jonathan Reese. I got Silver Sea Captain at 85. Bodine at 90. Bodine at 90. Very good bid, Bodine. All right. Bodine at 90. Okay, we're going to... Uh-oh, I got Silver Sea Captain at 100. He just threw a trident at somebody. <laughs> Silver Sea Captain, I got you at 100. We're going to go ahead and count that down to you, my friend. Here we go. Count it down. Three. A Mutiny Metals piece, three ounce for 100 bucks. Man, steel, buddy. Two. It's not steel. I mean, it's silver, but it is a steel. It's not made of steel. Just want to be clear. <laughs> and one. And I'm typing in sold to you, my good friend. Sold to you, Silver Sea Captain, for 100. Silver Sea Captain. Just waiting for it to show up. There it is. Stole it. That's right. Jonathan Reese knows what's up. You know these things don't go for 100. Good stuff, man. Silver Sea Captain, you can turn around and flip that, buddy. You'll make a killing on it. Good stuff. All right, guys. Next piece. Got to get my glove. Let me get my glove. Here we go. This is... All right. We have a what looks to be like a Walking Liberty uh, on one side from 2000. And on the reverse, it says the dawn of a new millennium. So this is a privately minted, but it does look a lot like the uh, Walking Liberty. And it is toned to, you know, six, weeks, six ways from Sunday, right? It is very, very toned uh, with a lot of color to it. It's very rainbow finish, right? The dawn of a new millennium from 2000. Cool piece. Nice toning. It's beautiful. Let's start it off at 27. 27 to open for that really cool piece right there. 27 to open for that super cool Liberty round. Let's do 27. There you go, Jonathan Reese knows what's up. That's a $130 piece, he says. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I got 30 to Plumber Stacker. 30 to Plumber Stacker, guys. We got 30 for our first bid. And Nadila says there is going to be a fight for this one. 32. Yeah, Director of Awesome says, yeah, Jonathan Reese, that skull was a steal. It really is, man. That, that was a steal and a half. So congratulations on winning that. Plumber Stacker at 40. Plumber Stacker is now at 40. All right, so I got Plumber Stacker at 40. We're going to go ahead and count that down to Plumber Stacker. Will he get this Liberty run? No, he won't because Nadila said 45. 45 to Nadila. They're embarrassing me. I told them we were friends. <laughs> That's probably one of my favorite clips. All right, Nadila, I got you at 45. Here we go. We're going to count it down. Thir nope, 46. Plumber Stacker, it is toe to toe. That is a firefight. All 
All right, 47, 47, Nadila. All right, I'm gonna count it down. Here we go, we're going three, two, and one. And I'm typing in S-O-L-D to Nadila for 47. And it's sold. Plumber Stacker is out. Nadila for 47. Congratulations on that super cool Dawn of the New Millennium round. Lots of beautiful colors to that. That is a nice piece. Congrats on the win. All right, guys. Next up, this is a beauty, guys. As you know, uh, Atmex started minting their own privately minted poured pieces. Well, this one is one of them. Nine's Fine Mint, or Nine Fine Mint, right? Actually, it looks like a little teardrop or something like a water drop. It's got a skull on one side, which is super cool. A little scary, but it's still cool. And then nine fine mint on this side. So we're going to get the weight off of that. We're looking at a bunch of zeros. And that comes out to a half an ounce. So we have a one half ounce nines or nine fine mint. I have problems saying that for some reason. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, let's start this one off. Let's start this one off at, uh, let's do this. 15 to open, 15 to open. Yeah, congrats on that, Nadila. That was super cool. Very, very nice piece you won there. I got Silver Sea Captain at 20. Silver Sea Captain at 20. Beating out Colette at 15. Nice five mint is high premium stuff, and that's not that's not a joke either. He's he's not kidding. Very nice stuff. Nicolette's hobbies at 22, 25 to Silver Sea Captain, 25 to Silver Sea Captain. Silver Husky, I'm back after a long time. Coin collecting with Tyler. Where have you been, dude? It's been ages. Welcome back, buddy. All right, Silver Sea Captain at 25, Nicolette at 27, 27 to Nicolette. So we're asking, I lot of, lost a lot of subs, and now I'm trying to get them back. You will, man. You will. Just stick with it, buddy. You'll get it. Silver Sea Captain at 30. All right. All right. The high bid currently is Silver Sea Captain. You know what, Silver Sea Captain? Uh, I can't even say that because Nicolette just came out of nowhere with 32. 32 to Nicolette. Nicolette's Hobbies, 32. And that's the skull on that round right there, just burning holes in people. So if you guys haven't seen it, that's the piece they're bidding on right there. It's a beauty. 35 to Silver Sea Captain, Silver Sea Captain with a high bid of 35. All right, guys, I'm going to... Oh, I can't. Nicolette, 36. Nicolette, 36. And we're going to count it down. We're going three. Jim Davis, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the show. And two. This is two Nicolette. One. And I am typing in S-O-L-D. S-O-L-D. No, Bo Dean got 37 on it. I couldn't even type sold. He got a snipe in there real smooth. Congrats, uh, Bo Dean. You have the high bid of 37. That is not sold. That was sniped. It just snuck in there somewhere in the middle of all my counting. So, Bo Dean, I got you at 37. You guys see, that's the cool thing about having the, uh, the chat scrolling up on the right side of the screen is that you can verify that my counting... Even though I was typing it in, it still came up different on the uh, on the screen. YouTube reads it differently. So that was a nice snipe. All right, Bo Dean, I'm counting it down to you, my friend. Here we go. Nicolette says, out. All right. Three, two, and one. I'm typing in sold. All right. Uh, what was the question? Did I miss a question? What's happening here? I don't know what I'm 
All right. I don't know what that was. Silver, Silver Stack and Rockstar's mentioning. Not sure. Maybe someone can tell us, but I'm not sure what the question is. So that was an awesome bid, awesome snipe that stuck and held. Uh, congratulations, Bo Dean at 37 on that nine fine mint poured piece. It's a beauty. Congratulations. You can put that in a, either a flip or a bag if you want. Either way. Very nice. Okay, guys. Next piece is a generic round from, let's see, it's one of those uh, Don't Tread on Me. I've had these on the show before. Uh, every now and then I come across them, and when I do, I buy them because they're, A, they're super cool looking, and B, everybody loves them. Everybody likes them a lot. So here it is, guys. This is the Don't Tread on Me Boston Tea Party round. All right, there it is. They're throwing the tea off the edge of the boat. That is the Boston Tea Party Don't Tread on Me. All right, guys, so we are starting this one off at 27, 27. Do I have 27 for the Don't Tread on Me? Let me see if I can angle that a little bit better. There we go. 27. All right. Oh, payment needed after uh, purchase or is there a grace period? Okay, so yeah, the, the answer to that is um, I appreciate payment being done after each item. However, I'm also totally fine if you want to keep mental note of, or on paper probably better, uh, of all of the purchases that you've made and then just give me a total at the end or pay in total at the end. But I do ask that you do pay by the end of the show. Uh, reason being is right after the show, I go back and reconcile payments, pack everything up so I can have it all shipped out tomorrow. Uh, as far as a grace period, uh, if I don't receive the payment, you'll find the item go up on next week's auction. Uh, it's happened before. It's just easier that way because that way I don't have to chase people down. So yeah, I always just ask, you know, hey, if you're buying, it's just like if you went to like a grocery store, uh, you pay at the register, <laughs> you know, you don't ask them if you pay later. So I know some shows do that, but it's just easier for me because I don't really have the, uh, the capacity to come back three days later and, you know, chase down payments. So it just makes it easier. Uh, all right. Awesome. And thank you for asking that, by the way, because I think that's important to bring up. I don't always mention that, but uh, of course, I always do appreciate the prompt payments there. They really make life easy, easier. Uh, sea Weave at 30. I got Sea Weave at 30 backed up by Plumber Stacker and then Silver Sea Captain at 31. Captain with the high bid. Cat. And now I have Sea Weave at 32. Sea Weave at 32. Just knocking them dead. Sea Weave. All right, Sea Weave, I'm going to count it down to you, okay? Here we go. Sea Weave. It's just cleaning house today, Sea Weave. Getting all the good deals. Three. And two. And one. And I am typing so. No, I am not. D Winky out of left field. Where was D Winky? D Winky came in at 33, but Silver Sea Captain rebuttaled that bid with 33. Well, now I guess I wouldn't be a rebuttal. It would be backing it up. I got D Winky first, Silver Sea Captain second. Very nice. Stacking Skier, what's up, buddy, man? Good to see you, buddy, man. <laughs> that sounded weird. Hiya, Silver Husky on the road now. Have fun times. Uh, get them, snipers. That's what I'm talking about. Snipers are lurking. That's what's happening, guys. All right, I got D Winky at 33. Since the backup bid was not raised, I'm guessing Silver Sea Captain is waiting for a snipe. So here we go. I'm going to count it down. We'll count it down fast this time, guys. Ready? Three. Two. One. Sold. And did it take? Did it take? Did it take? I don't know. It's sold. It is done, guys. Sold. Sold to D Winky. Congratulations, D. That is yours, my friend. Awesome piece. Awesome piece. Okay, guys. You guys ready? I like this one. This is a bigger one. 20 grams, guys. 20 gram Geiger. That is a cool one. It's in assay. 
As you guys know, these are individually serialized. All of them are, right? Down to the one gram bars. These are individually serialized, 20 grams, minted in Germany. And there, and I don't think that's gonna stay up there. Let's see. It's a big, nope, that's a big piece. All right, it's gonna have to just sit right there. You know what, it'll probably stand up on its own, maybe. There we go, it stood up. That'll do, guys, that'll do. Will it focus? There it is. Nice, it worked. Okay, guys, Mass Man says, Silver Husky channel for perks and deals. Go join the crew. That's right, man. <laughs> D-Winky, good stuff, man. Congrats on that. All right, for the Geiger, let's go ahead and start this Geiger off at what? Yeah, let's do it at 20. Holy cow, this is your chance, guys. This is your chance to get in at the ground level. $20 for a 20-gram Geiger in assay. What? Oh, Sea uh, Weave is like, I'm not playing that game. Get out of here. Get out of here with your $20. What is that garbage? She said 35. 35 is a little bit closer. And then Vic Stackingsloss said 38. Sea Weave at 40. I got Sea Weave at 40. And a lot of backup bids at 40. Look at that. They're just rolling on in. Saint says 40. Nadila says 40. Nicolette's Hobby says 40. Class dismissed. And I got Vic at 42 and Nicolette at 50. Nicolette is not playing around, guys. Don't mess with Nicolette. Nicolette at 50 with the high bid. It's a matter of They're bouncing me. I told them we were friends. All right, Nicolette, I see that. Here we go. We're going to count it down to Nicolette. Three. Nicolette will not be messed with. Here we go. Two. And one. And we're typing in S-O-L-D, guys. Here it is. Sold. Will it stick? Let's find out. Because that little bit of lag, it is sold. Congratulations, Nicolette. That is yours. That's coming home to you. And it is a stunner. Congrats, my friend. Very cool. All right. Like I said, moving along. Moving along. We don't sit on products here. We move. We move. All right. Because that's what you guys want. You guys want to see all the things, right? Well, here's the next thing, guys. This is a Queen's Beast Black Bull of Clarence. Yeah, everybody loves these Queen's Beast coins. They're super cool. This one is not milky, no milk spottiness to it. Uh, it looks great, guys. It's a really good looking piece and it is up for grabs for you guys. Actually, correction, it looks like there is a tiny bit of milk right by her eye. You see that? So yes, this one does have a little bit to it. Um, so obviously, you know, price accordingly, bid accordingly. It's a beautiful piece. Nonetheless, I'm not touching it. I'm using gloves. All right, here we go. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and start this Black Bull of Clarence off at 60. 60 to open. 60 for the Black Bull of Clarence. As you guys know, these are two ounce coins. And it is a series. I believe there was either eight or ten of them. A whole bunch of them. And they came in the two ounce. They came in the five or in the ten ounce. They came in proofs. They came in gold and silver. They came in all kinds of different, everything under the sun. Super cool. I actually have one of the uh, 10 ounces right there on the wall, right in the middle. It's a very cool piece. So this is the Black Bull of Clarence. I've got 75 to Sea Weave. Sea Weave with 75. Very nice bid, Sea Weave. All right, I got 80. Bo Palmer, Coin Hunter, 80 for the Black Bull of Clarence. Bo Palmer. All right, Bo Palmer. That is a good bid. Hey, big guy. The sun's getting real low. And Bo Palmer is hoping that Sea Weave is asleep. So here we go. We're going to count it down to Bo Palmer and see if Sea Weave does not snipe it. Three. And two. And one. And 82. She is not sleeping. And Leonard S. out of nowhere. Welcome to the show, Leonard S. with 85. 
gobbling up the competition. I've got Leonard S at 85. Here we go. We're going to count it down to Leonard. Three. Two. One. And I am typing in sold to Mr. Leonard S. Maybe a snipe, maybe no snipes. Let's find out. And it is sold. Congratulations, Mr. Leonard S. You got yourself the Black Bull of Clarence. Gorgeous piece. That's coming home to you, my friend. All right. Put that one back in its flip. That is for Leonard S. All right, here we go. We have five grams of fine silver from Schloss Goldengasse. Geiger Edo Metal. Five grammar right here. That is another beautiful piece to add to your collection. If you don't have it already, you definitely want to pick it up. And if you have one, hey, might as well have two because these are really, really cool. All right, there it is, guys. We're going to start this one off. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Oh, there's Juice. What's up, dude? Mr. Juice, welcome to the show. All right, we're going to start this one off. Five bucks. Get in, guys. Get in while you can. It is only $5 to play. Yeah, believe it. Five grams for five bucks. Good luck finding that anywhere. Uh, one ounce or two. No, this is five gram. Five gram. There we go. Silver Sea Captain at five. I got Vic at ten. Vic at ten. Sup, Jonathan Reese says juice. Mr. Juice. Eleven. Bodine. Eleven. By the way, that's a really cool monkey uh, or ape. I should say ape on your on your profile picture. It's super cool looking, man. All right, I got Nadila at 15 and Vic at 18. Vic with the current high bid of 18. Silver Husky sent Zell and shipping. Thank you. Awesome. Yep, and I see it. I see it, my friend. Very cool. All right, Nadila at 20. Vic at 22. This is a firefight. Huge uppercut by Adam. Will that be the final high bid? I don't know. There's a lot of snipers after this thing. All right, let's find out who's actually going to take it. Vic, I'm going to count it down to you, my friend. Here we go. We're going to go three. 24, Nadila. It's not over yet. Nadila loves the Geigers, guys. Don't mess with Nadila. That should be a t-shirt. Don't mess with Nadila. All right, here we go. Three. Two to Nadila for 24. 25 to Vic. Vic out of nowhere. He says, I, I'm i taking this Geiger, guys. I don't know if you know who I am. Maybe I think you think you know, but you don't, says Vic. All right, Vic, I got to count it down to you, buddy. Here we go. We're going three. And two to Vic. And one. Vic, here we go. I'm typing in sold. He's crossing his fingers, guys. And she says, congrats, Vic. Congrats, Vic. It is yours. All right, Vic. Congrats, man. You got yourself a five gram Geiger. High bid of 25. Congratulations, Mr. Vic. All right. All right. I got five more items and then it's halftime. And I have a special announcement at halftime for you guys. All right, next items up. It's another lot, a lot of two. A lot of two really cool pieces. You guys know me. I am a huge fan of the Standing Liberty Quarters. Well, here I have two Standing Liberty Quarters for your viewing pleasure. The first one, 1925 SLQ lovely piece the second one 1929 slq another lovely piece so both of them visible dates and very gorgeous pieces and they're not going to stay on there together they're arguing with each other but they look cool all right there they go that is a nice set all right two two quarters guys here we go let's count or let's count <laughs> let's price them uh let's do ten dollars what 
ten dollars for SLQs. Yeah, guys, why not? Right? This is the Silver Husky Show. We're go crazy up in here. All right, ten dollars for the opening bid. I like these package deals, says the Saint. Yeah, man, jump on it, buddy. Jump on it, Saint. Two for the price of I don't know whatever. But yeah, these are the standing Liberty quarters. Probably, in my opinion, one of the best designs of quarters. Actually, I have right here a believe this or not. I'm gonna show you guys this. This is this is off topic. This is a 1917 Type 1. You guys know I love my Type 1. And this is such a stunning piece. It's AU58. This is a very, very pricey piece. Uh, but I had to have it. So <laughs> so I have it now. Uh, and you can too, but not right now. All right. So here we go. We got $11 to Will Lancaster. Hi, Drag Dad. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Uh, Will Lancaster with the first bid. And then I got Leonard S. at 12 Leonard S at 12. I need it. Been geeking out over those. Yeah, man. Hi, Drag Dad. Uh, I'll give you some information later. You can go to my website uh, and you can uh, you can definitely find it because I, I, I have it up. It is for sale. Actually, you can find it on the Instagram page for Metal Merchant. It's on there. So if you want it, jump on it, buddy. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful, stunning piece. All right. I've got $14 to Leonard S. <laughs> D Winky says, are you ever going to sell your Spider-Man? Oh, D Winky. Uh, I don't know, man, because I only have one. I had like three and I sold the other two on auction. Uh, but yeah, that's that one. I mean, that's my last one. Everything has a price, but it has to be close to the replacement price. And the, rep the replacement price is bananas, bro. It is crazy. Will Lancaster at 15. I got Leonard S at 16. Leonard S at 16. And Hydragdaz says, it is gorgeous. I want it, but I've been checking them out for a couple days now and they're so expensive. I'll have to check it out though. Yeah, definitely go look on the Instagram page. You'll see uh, you'll see it up there. It's, it's probably about 10 items down. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, all right, so Leonard S at 16. I got Will Lancaster at 17. Will Lancaster. Blaze Montoya. What's up, Blaze Montoya? Welcome to the show. How you doing, buddy? All right, Will Lancaster, I'm counting it down to you at 17. Oh, no, I'm not. Leonard S. at 18. Leonard S. at 18. Leonard, I'm going to count it down to you. Three. Two. We're moving and grooving, folks. One. Let's get to the next item. Sold. Type it in sold. Let's see if it holds. Uh, Nicolette, if you could please do me the favor and just email it to me just in case, that would definitely save me the trouble of risking not finding it. <laughs> I don't want to not have your, your PO box. So if you want to send me that, uh, that would definitely just give me a little bit more assurance. Uh, and congratulations, my good friend, uh, Leonard S. These are now yours, buddy. And they're super cool looking too. So very cool. Good job, my friend. All right. Next up, next up, next up. This is the Zisin Ratos from Comsco Mint. Uh, year is 2020. You guys have seen these a couple of times. They pop up on auctions here and there. It's a really cool piece from the Comsco, Comsco Mint. As you guys know, Comsco is known for their quality and design as well as their security features. Right here you can see it says AG999. AG999. Uh, something like that. Anyways, it's trust me on that one. It says AG999, so very cool. Uh, they have a lot of uh, a lot of good technology that they put into the design of these coins, and I'm definitely a fan. So the Ratos right here, we're gonna start this one off at 29, 29 for the Ratos. Husky put one SLQ in the EOS. Are you kidding, Leonard S? All right, he says grab one of the one of Leonard S's SLQs. And we're going to throw that in the EOS. All right, Green Husky grabbed the 1925. 
Okay, so everybody say thank you to Leonard S. Leonard S. was kind enough to throw the 1925 SLQ into the end of stream giveaway, guys. So now you guys have to stay because this end of stream just got bigger, right? Congratulations. And guys, if you haven't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button. Currently, we are at, oh, let me refresh my, my stream so I can tell you. We are at 54, 54 likes. So that means I have to throw another dime. There we go. There's another dime, another dime going into the end of stream. There we go. Just so you guys can verify this is what's happening with that quarter. All right. The pot keeps growing, guys. And it's because of cool people like you. Uh, all right. So the item that we're up, we're talking about is this Rattus, right? This is from the Comsco Mint. And first bid was 32 from Vic Stacking Sloss. And I got Silver Sea Captain at 30. Uh, Silver Sea Captain at, it looks like 35, correction. Yeah, everybody say thank you to Leonard S because he's just really awesome. Just throwing in some free silver. Uh, we got free silver. We got giveaways. We got it all, says A.A. Ron. What's up, buddy? Uh, all right, so I am, looks like Silver Sea Captain with the high bid at 35. I'm going to count it down to you, my dude, my dude. All right, I'm counting it down. Here we go. We're going three. And two. Typing in one and sold there we go it says where is it where is it where is it come on say it sold sold that is sold to my good friend silver sea captain for 35 congratulations silver sea captain that is now your comsco mint piece okay all right guys we have up next beautiful beautiful 2013 Chinese panda, 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 right? This is super cool, guys. It's got the three pandas sipping water, right? They're sipping on some scissor, right? They're sipping some water right here from the bamboo forest. 2013, as you guys know, 2013 means that these were one troy ounce, right? It was not one whatever other ounce that they use now that's only 30 grams. So this is the, the one troy ounce, and the pandas do carry a pretty hefty premium uh, because of that the older they get the more they're worth um, so here you go guys so let's start this one off at 30 30 to open on the 20 let me what's, what's the date again 2013 Woo. all right 2013 panda 2013 panda there we go guys there it is I need to get that rotation table going all right i got 30 dollars to open on the panda All right, Metal Merchant. Thank you, Mass Man. Metal Merchant's Instagram page. Guys, so yeah, if you did want to see that super cool piece, that uh, 1917 S, or sorry, 1917 Type 1, it's not an S, Type 1 uh, Standing Liberty Quarter, it is on our Metal Merchant Instagram page. Definitely a beautiful piece, but it is not a cheap one because they carry crazy premiums. So make sure you check it out. If you like it, go ahead and buy it. I'll send it right to you. Uh, all right, so Hydrag Dad, I got you at 32. Vic Stackenschloss at 34. Uh, Silver Sea Captain, 35. Silver Sea Captain with the high bid yet again. Silver Sea Captain just throwing punches. Silver Huskies auction rocks. And this stacking community is awesome. Thank you, Stacking Skier. That was an awesome, awesome uh, donation, my friend. Good dude. I remember when he was just getting started and asking a bunch of questions. It was super cool. I hope I gave him decent information. <laughs> Who knows, man? They're amazing. Type 2 is cool, but the Type 1 is amazing. Yeah, and they only had it for two years, 1916 and 1917, partway through the year. D. Winky, I got you at 40. 40, high bid for this beautiful panda. Can anyone bid, or do we have to be a paid member? Blaze Montoya, anyone is welcome to bid. All I ask is that you please pay, render payment, by the end of the auction. If you're not able to do that, I ask that you please refrain from bidding. And that's totally fine. Again, nothing against anybody to just hang out. Totally fine to hang out. Everybody and anyone is welcome to hang out and stay for the end of stream giveaway. Everyone's eligible. Uh, you don't have to bid to be eligible either. You just have to you know, hang out. But if you do bid, again, just ask that you pay by the end of the stream. So thank you so much. Thanks for asking, man. Uh, must have been good info. I hope so. I hope so, man. All right, so I've got Silver Sea Captain at 35, and we're going to count it down. Here we go, 35, 
Silver Sea Captain. We're going three. And two. And one. They say move it or lose it. This thing is gone. We're typing in sold. Sold for the panda. Sold. It is. Woo. It is gone. That is a slippery capsule, I guess. Sold to Silver Sea. Oh, no. D Winky. I'm sorry. D Winky. D Winky at 40. D Winky. I'm. <laughs> Forgive me. It wasn't Silver Sea Captain. I saw the, the name and it stood out more, but it's yours, D Winky. My mistake. D Winky got it at 40. That was called out earlier. D Winky, it's yours, buddy. Forgive me. All right. I had to leave and come back. But there is a $40 bid, says Will Lancaster. Yeah, I caught it. Sorry. You got it, buddy. It's yours, D. Winky. <laughs> I'm all over the place, man. All right, here we go. This is why I have Green Husky helping me. It's hard watching two screens and a phone and the coin and everything. But hey, we try, right? We do what we can. That's why I like my hat goes off to people like Stacking Stormtrooper, who just do it so seamlessly. And if anybody in the in the chat has done an auction before, you know that it's it's a lot of moving parts. So hey, hats off to all of you who do it uh, and to maintain it and to run it well. Man, it's it's not easy. So guys, by the way, after this, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe Lady Bullion is going to be doing an auction at four. And I also think, uh, and I know actually, I know Stacking Stormtrooper does his Sunday auctions now at six p.m. So make sure you check them out and tell them Silver Husky sent you. Next item up, guys, is the Australian Birds of Paradise. This is a really cool looking piece. Uh, hold on, let's get that focused. There we go. A lot of angles to it, a lot of shininess. It's a super pretty piece from the Perth Mint. And, uh, and there you go, there's Miss Queenie herself. So guys, if you don't have this piece in your collection already, here's a great opportunity to own it. Uh, I do like the Birds of Prey series. Um, they're pretty they're pretty right they're pretty looking coins so there it is guys birds of prey all right let's go ahead and start this one off what did i miss says da sales not a whole lot man just uh just selling stuff man just putting stuff up for auction all right here we go we're gonna start this one off another high premium piece yeah these things do grow in premium like crazy for it's these ones the swans um, you know, the double dragon or whatever, dragon versus whatever, the mythical creatures, all of those Perth Mint items go up in premium quite a bit. DA Sales got the first bid at 33, so go ahead. We can start it off at 33 to DA Sales. I got you, buddy. DA Sales at 33. 33 to DA Sales. All right, everyone says hello to DOA. Hello, DOA. Good to see you, man, and welcome again. Director. Awesome. Mess around with DOA. Be on your way. That's right. All right, DOA, we got you, man. Uh, I got, again, $33 to DA Sales. And we're going to go ahead and... Are we counting it down, really, to DA Sales for 33 What? All right, no, Nadila says 34 and Bo Palmer says 40 He says, we ain't having that. We're getting out of the 30s. We got to get way out of the 30s. Let's go to 40. Let's start it there. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Yes, I think of that song. I think of, yes, I think of that song every time. Yep, I try to do that, guys. I try to put little, uh, what are they called? Like uh, uh, earworms, right? Earworms in you. There you go. All right, 42 to Nadila. Nadila, I got you at 42. We're going to go ahead and count this down to Nadila. Three. Two, Nadila, one, and I am typing in S-O-L-D, Nadila, my friend. It is sold. Any snipes, any snipes? Subliminal messaging. That's right, man. That's right. Subliminal messaging. Buy more stuff, right? <laughs> Buy the good stuff. That's that's what we try to, try to provide is the good stuff. I like the good. I, I try to put stuff up on the auction that I would actually own, <laughs> that I would buy. Uh, that's why when you say, you know, if you're getting rid of the Spider-Man anytime soon, I'm like, I don't want to. I like the Spider-Man. All right, guys, last piece. At, at the halftime, we're going to talk about uh, something real quick, a little bit of important information. And guys, this is a beautiful panda piece. Look at that. Again, lots of luster. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. 
and this one is a 2018. We're going to start this one off at 34, 34 to open on this wonderful, wonderful Mr. Panda. All right, let's let's angle it that way. There we go. That looks about right. All right, let's get some focus. Come on. There we go. And that didn't really work. All right, well, whatever. Anyways, Panda, you guys know what's up. We're going to go 34 to open. And I got High Drag Dad, my buddy, my brother from another mother in the D.C. area, High Drag Dad at 34, opening it up. High Drag, I'll actually be up in that area um, probably in three weeks. I think on the 25th, I'm going back up that way. I'll be in probably in Baltimore. Uh, but yeah, it'll be fun, man. That's right. That's right. Silver Huskies mailing list. Thank you, Mask Man. Mask Man's good people, guys. Check him out. He actually made the coin stand you're looking at right there. That is a Mask Man exclusive creation. All right, here we go. All right, I got 34 High Drag Dad. 34 to High Drag Dad. High Drag Dad, you know what? I'm going to... Can he get it for 34? We'll see. Let's count it down to High Drag Dad and see if he actually gets it. DA Sales says, be more. Every time I drive up to the DC area, I pass by uh, DA Sales neck of the woods. One of these days, we're going to stop and get some coffee or something. Chat it up. Oh, uh, DA says, I'll be up there. Yeah, man, 25th, 26th. I'll see you, man. I'll see you. Come find me. Three. All right, we're going three. This is two. Oh, I can't even do it. DA Sales says, I'll do it. I don't even like pandas, but that's a steal. <laughs> he doesn't like pandas, but he'll still take it. All right, I got the high bid of DA Sales at 35. Bo Palmer, maybe refresh your chat. It looks like it's a little bit behind. Uh, the high bid currently is 35, my friend. Heck yeah, I'll be there, says High Drag Dad. High Drag Dad, do you know what's up? You know what's going on on the, on the 25th, 26th? I think you do. I think you do, but maybe maybe you don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. I don't know. All right, 36 to Bo Palmer. 36. That is a high bid. 36. 36 to Bo Palmer. All right, Bo Palmer. I am. Let's let's get you a little graphic going. And I'm gonna count this down to you, Bo Palmer. Three. Two and one, and I'm typing in S O L D. This is to Bo Palmer, my friend. Let's see if it sticks. Bo Palmer, it is sold. Congratulations, Bo Palmer, for 36. That is a wonderful, wonderful panda right there, my friend. Beautiful piece, all yours, buddy. All right, so. I'm going to do a quick little commercial break while I go and fill up my water. And uh, when I come back, we're going to have a little quick chat and then we'll get right back into the other half of the items, guys. Here we go. One second here.
All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much. <laughs> Aaron loves the music, man. That's fun. Uh, make sure y'all are refreshing. I'm getting lag and have to refresh. Yeah, please do refresh, guys, and make sure you're on the live chat also. Gold, where is the gold? Silver Sea Captain, the gold is coming, my friend. The gold is coming. There is gold. Know that. And remember, guys, if you guys did order anything with gold in it, even if it is just a gold back, you do not have to pay shipping. All right? You don't have to pay shipping. Uh, Husky wanted to show off his wall, LOL. <laughs> I always show off my wall, man. That's that's a cool wall. You guys should all have a wall like that. Uh, anyways, um, news, insight, information, right? I wanted to share you, with you guys uh, some of the latest information for, for the Silver Husky channel as a whole. Uh, so as you guys know, uh, let's see, if it is what I think it is... <laughs> I think it might be uh, canceled. What is up, my guy? Hi, Drag Dad. What do you, oh, it better not be canceled, man. Hi, Drag Dad. If you're talking about the, the coin show in Baltimore, that better not be canceled. Because I, I was just looking a few days ago, and it was supposed to be up and running. Um, yeah, man. Good to see you, Stacking Silverman. Welcome to the show. So, okay. So, for those of you who are still here, uh, thank you for sticking around. I, I want to, before we get into the second half of the auction items, just wanted to let you guys know that it's, it's absolutely been such an awesome time, not just getting to know you guys on a personal level through this uh, auction platform, but being able to provide you guys with uh, product. Because I know that everybody out there is probably having as hard a time as me finding product, and especially quality product, cool stuff, good stuff, right? Like stuff that you, you actually really wanna stack, not just plain old, plain old. Uh, but anyway, so uh, with, with that said, uh, I just want to let you guys know that because Metal Merchant has been really gaining a whole lot of traction, when I say a whole lot of traction, I mean it's moving. It's moving so much faster than I had expected, and it's just been a tremendous success thus far, uh, that because of that, uh, I'm having to focus uh, a lot of energy and effort onto that, and I will be pulling back from the auctions. That's not to say I will never do an auction ever again. Uh, it is just to say that uh, I'm not going to be having these regularly scheduled weekly auctions. So with that said, the very last uh, Silver Husky regularly scheduled Sunday auction is going to be next Sunday, right? So this one will go as planned, and the next one will go as planned, and the next one will be the last one. Uh, with that said, there, expect to see some pretty cool pieces on that one. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you one just to kind of, you know, maybe wet your palate a little bit uh, but this is something that I made and it came out terribly <laughs> however however uh, it is kind of my own little error coin right it almost looks like a pirate's doubloon is just a really chewed up beat up looking round uh, that is my silver husky channel round and so I'll be auctioning off things like not just this one because I promised you guys channel rounds uh, but I'm gonna make some more, right? I just need to get some shot in and things like that. So hopefully, uh, I'll have all of that set. Uh, but in any case, you know, as you guys know, Metal Merchant is on the grow, so you will always be able to find the products that I typically provide will always be on there as well. So uh, again, just keep your eyes open, guys. A lot of big changes, a lot of good things. But I think that is that is part of uh, growth, isn't it? Right? Is just uh, finding. The next, uh, the next step, and so for me that that's what it is. It's really just a matter of uh, uh, prioritizing time, and you know, auctions as wonderful as they are, and as great of an experience as it is, it's very hard uh, to be able to manage that and build this metal merchant business at the same time. Uh, so, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the next item all right so let me get, let me get to the chat real quick and then we'll get to the next item all right um all right so let's see a lot of people are mad at me for <laughs> i know I, I'm, I'm gonna and I'm, again it's not that i'm disappearing forever right i'm not disappearing forever i am just uh gonna be you know scaling back tremendously on that front but uh all right, here we go. Prohibited due to COVID-19 restrictions also canceled the June event. Did they really? They canceled it? Ah, oh, that stinks, man. I'm so sad to see these auctions go, but I'm glad Metal Merchant is doing well. It's bittersweet 
I hope the very best for Metal Merchant, but will also miss your auctions regularly. Shipping cost. Oh, shipping cost is $4 in the U.S., Bodine. Anywhere in the U.S., I don't care if you're in Hawaii or Alaska, it's 4 bucks for shipping, man. Ah, that's a bummer. Hey, hi, Drag. Can you ma can you email me that uh, that link um, to what you were looking at? Because I was looking the other day and I didn't see it. He's talking about the Baltimore coin show, the Whitman coin show, which was one I was actually really excited to be going to. Apparently, it's not happening, so <laughs> that stinks. Uh, oh, just check the website, the news section. Uh, dang, man, that stinks. All right, so I am going to show you guys... Uh, all right, here's the next item, guys. The next item up for grabs. This is, oh, hey, Joni. Thank you so much for, for joining the Silver Husky crew. I really appreciate you for that. Um, that's cool because the your background, the, the banner matches your sticker or your, <laughs> your emoji or whatever that is. It's, it's crazy. It just looks like one giant green strip. Uh, but yeah, here it is, guys. This is a one half ounce this is one half ounce Perth Mint Lunar Rooster. I had the rooster and the chicks. Very cool piece. Very cool piece. And in the half ounce, they become harder to find and they do carry a heavier premium. They always do. Uh, for this year, the rooster, this is actually the smallest size that it comes in. So the Lunar Rooster, one half ounce. We're going to start this one off. Let's start this one off at 18. 18 to open. All right. So guys, just so you know, that means that, hey, this is this might be your last, one of your last chances to participate in a Silver Husky auction, right? So that's kind of a big deal. At least <laughs> to me it is because these, these next two, this one and the next one are going to be like, uh, you know, kind of like my go out with a bang, right? So yeah. All right. High Drag Dad, I got you at 18. High Drag Dad at 18. Very cool. All right, high drag dad, 18. There it is. Let's get this a little closer. See if we can get that to focus. It's just really reflective. I think that's the, the issue is that it's just super reflective. There we go. That's a little better. All right, here we go. So 18, high drag dad. I'm going to, guess what? I'm counting it down to you, my friend. Here we go, three. High drag dad, two, nope, Bo Palmer at 19, Bo Palmer, 19, Bodine, also 19, Bo Palmer with the first 19, you take it with the high bid, Bo Palmer, 19, Richard Martin at 20 for the Lunar Rooster, Richard Martin at 20. I can tell High Drag Dad was really hoping he could snag that for 18. He's like, dang it. I was so close. All right, here we go. Three. I know the feeling, man. I've been there. And two. This is to Richard Martin for 20. And one. I'm typing in sold. And it is sold, sold, sold. Richard, Richard Martin for 20. Awesome piece, buddy. Congrats, my good friend. All right, next up. Again, still have a lot of stuff to get through. So let's let's move, guys. Let's move. Okay, here we go. Next piece, Queen's Beast, two ounce. White Lion of Mortimer. The White Lion of Mortimer. This is one of the newer ones. This came out, I believe, in 2020. Yep, there it is, 2020, right there at the bottom. Wonderful piece. Again, this one does have a little bit of milk spotting to it. Uh, right there on the queen at the top, you can see. So we're going to start this one off at 60. 60 to open for the White Lion of Mortimer. Let's put the White Lion of Mortimer right there. There we go. It's a cool piece, though, right? That's a cool piece. All right, 60 to open, guys, 60 to open. All right, High Drag Dad says, it's all right. The thing I like most about auctions is giving my money to people in the community rather than AppMix. <laughs> High Drag Dad, I, I'm, I'm in agreement, man. I totally understand what you're saying there. That's awesome. 
what will we do on our Sunday, says Richard Martin. I don't know, man. Like, what? Well, I think there's going to be other auctions. I know there's another auction that runs at the same time as this one. So again, because you guys are here, I want to thank you guys for being here. You don't have to. You could be on the other auction. But, uh, but I appreciate you guys. All right, I got Hydrag Dad at 60, Leonard S at 65, Leonard S with the high bid of 65. Almighty true, it's been too long. That's right, especially everyone like you. Oh man, thank you, Hydrag. Appreciate that. All right, go to the shooting range, says Almighty. That's right, you could do that on a Sunday. 66 to Stillers, Stillers Stacker, but I got Silver Sacks at 70. 70 to Stiller or to Silver Sacks. My gosh, I'm all over the place. Leonard S at 75. 75. What? And yes, you can definitely go to Stormy's auction. That's at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So whatever time that is for you, I don't know. Thank you so much, AA Ron. I appreciate you for saying that, buddy. Uh, not trying to be cheesy, but you're all right. Aw, oh, thank you, man. Silver Sax is 76 and Leonard S at 77. Gotcha. Hey big guy, the sun's getting real low. All right, Leonard S, I got you at 77 and we are counting. We're going three. Two. Juan. And I am typing in sold to you, Leonard S. You guys thought I was playing. Oh, I can't. I can't. 78. Why? I, those didn't even come up on my screen. Holy cow. What am I still counting down for? Silver Sax at 78. Leonard S. at 79. It is not sold. It is still in play. That was a snipe and a re-snipe, right? Like a reversal snipe. It's like in that movie Sniper when he shoots him right through the lens. That's a Leonard S. move. Signature Leonard S. Here we go. Leonard S. I got you at 79. We're counting it down. We're going three. Two, 80 to Silver Sax, 81 to Leonard S. What? <laughs> All right, 81 to Leonard S. I'm counting it down to you. I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm talking to Green Husky. I'm like, again? We just did that one. <laughs> She's like, I don't know what I'm doing. That's funny. All right, Leonard S. I'm, oh no, still, there is more. I see here, we have Silver Sax at 80, Leonard S at 81, C Weave at 85, Leonard S at 86. We have a firefight. Looking for firefight. Uh, there was a firefight. C Weave at 90, 90 to C Weave. We're gonna count this down, C Weave. That is, that is not a firefight anymore. This is like a, a war. This is like army versus other army. 91 to Leonard S. Leonard S., I'm going to count it down to you at 91. Three. Silver Smith Shield is in the house, my friends. Guys, say hi to Silver Smith Shield. Huge member of the community. Huge member of my life. I appreciate you, Silver Smith Shield, for being here. Uh, thank you so much for swinging by, buddy. Uh, hope everything's well with you. And I uh, hope everyone says hi to you, too. All right, here we go. Class dismissed. All right, I'm going three. Let me get back on track. Two. This is to Leonard S. for 91. One. And I'm typing in sold. Sold to Leonard. Leonard S. Congratulations, Leonard S. 91. Let me get this thing right here. And we'll go ahead and put it in a flip and it's coming home to you that's an awesome win buddy very cool okay let's let's keep that train going guys what do we have next we have another queen's beast queen's beast this one is spotless no milkiness to it this is the yale the yale of beaufort right like benjamin beaufort blue right this is uh, the Yale of Benjamin Beaufort Blue. It is a 2019 creature, right? It's like a ram or something with some tusks. And it looks like it's got all kinds of chicken pox going on. So it's a crazy looking creature. I don't know that it really exists, but it probably has some food allergies if it did with all those bumps. So here it is. This is a nice, nice piece. 
for you folks. Uh, thank you, Hydrag Dad. I did see the email come in. I'm going to have to go check that later. Uh, definitely interested to read up on that and very unfortunate that that is not happening. Because I know there's there are coin shows happening right now. There's one in Fort Lauderdale, literally probably just closing up right now. Uh, not Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach County. There's one in West Palm that happens, uh, like I think it's every third Sunday, something like that. So I know it it's happening today because one of my buddies is uh, sitting a table there. So anyways... Uh, here we go. The Yale. Let's start this. All right. I got 60 as the first bid from Richard Martin. I'll take it. 60. Richard Martin's opening it up. 60 to Ricardo Martinez. Just kidding. Richard Martin. <laughs> All right. Richard Martin, 60 to open up. 65 to Leonard S. There's a lot of Queen's Beasts on the show today, huh? I just got a whole handful of them in, so figured might as well put them up. Put them up for you guys. Come and get him. Leonard S at 65. Let's go ahead and get Leonard a graphic here. It's funny, every time I point to Green Husky, she puts up a graphic. So we never know what we're gonna get. So this is fun, this is good stuff. All right, so thank you everyone for all of the support. Appreciate everyone, says Silversmith Shield. That's good stuff, man. He's a good, really, really good person. All right, here we go. Bo Palmer, got your payment. Thank you so much, my friend. All right, 65 to Leonard S. Let's count it down. Will Leonard S. get this Buford for 65? Let's find out. Three. I think the snipers are locked and loaded. They are scoped in with windage and elevation set. Two. One. And I am typing in sold. This is going to be sold to Leonard S for 65. Leonard S for 65. It is sold. Congratulations. Deal of the day. Woo. That is an awesome deal, my friend. You did it. All right. Good stuff, man. Oh, get the flip. Let's put this all together. That is for Leonard S. All right, who likes Canadian stuff? Does anybody like Canadian coins? This is a very cool piece. It has a reverse proof finish to it. Right? And this is, it says $2, right? Normally they say $5, but this one says $2. Reverse proof finish. Here's what's on the other side. Very cool. This is the Ram, and this is a three-quarter ounce Ram. It has a little privy there in the corner. That is the maple leaf in the lower left. Canadian, Canadia, right? This is from Canadia, 2017, three-quarter ounce silver Ram. And that's a really cool piece. All right, so we're going to start this one off at $18. $18 for this really cool piece. That was a nice win, good stuff. All right, here we go, 18 to open. Let's put that one right there. And as you know, the uh, the Royal Canadian Mint likes to do their pieces in four nines fine silver, so you have nothing but the best pure silver in this piece. I have $18 from Jonathan Friend. Good to see you, man. Welcome to the show, Jonathan Friend. And I got Mo Money Inc. at 18. Welcome to you too, Mo Money Inc. All the cool people here today. I got Richard Martin at 20. Bo, uh, Bo Dean coming in with a backup offer of 20. Hydrag Dad at 21. A.A. Ron at 22. A.A. Ron at 22. Brick killed someone. If you didn't know, 25 to Richard Martin. Richard Martin with the high bid of 25. All right, Richard Martin, I'm going to count this one down to you. Again, this is a very, very unique piece that I don't see pretty often. That's a good point. Let me flip that real quick. D Winky wants to see it. He says, we all know what this side looks like. Show us, show us the good side, the side that matters, right? Here's the side that matters. This is the three quarter ounce ram right all right and if you win this 
what will be the ramifications. All right, here we go. We're going to count this one down. Three. This is to Richard Martin at 25. Did not know about the coin show today in Green Acres. That's 15 minutes away. Really, Chris B? That's You're kidding. I, I used to go to that like every month. Uh, and I used to pick up like a bunch of stuff for the auctions from that uh, from that show. Uh, but yeah, it's I think it's slowed down or died down quite a bit. Uh, but I did go. I did go not too long ago. All right, 27 from Jonathan Friend. Yeah, before we moved out, out of Florida, I went up there. Uh, and it was open. I mean, you had to have a mask on, but it was open for sure. So, all right, Jonathan Friend at 27. Did you get that package yet, Husky? I did not, Silversmith Shield. Um, I'm guessing it might be at the post office. I got a little pink slip that I need to pick something up. So if it was a heavier, or bigger box, they probably couldn't stick it in the uh, in the PO box. So I have to pick it up from the front desk. So I'm sure I'll get it on Monday. All right, here we go. Long live the queen. All right, three. This is two. Jonathan Friend, three. And two. And one. Come on, Jonathan Friend. I'm typing in sold. It's heavy, brother, says Silversmith Shield. I like heavy, man. I like heavy. That's good. I mailed out. <laughs> Congratulations, Jonathan Friend on the win. That was awesome. Um, so I mailed out a monster box uh, about a week and a half ago. Uh, have you ever guy? Have you guys ever picked up a monster box? Imagine mailing that thing off. So I mailed off a monster box. That was like my biggest accomplishment of my uh, sales career, I think. Sixteen thousand dollars in one go. It was pretty stinking awesome. All right, let's see. Uh, I got. Mask man saying she is a robot. All she needs is a recharge, Richard Martin. Uh, since I can't say the other. I don't know what that means, but I probably don't want to know. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, next piece, also from our neighbors to the north. Uh, this is a back date. When I say back date, I mean it is a little bit older. 1999, right? Guys, we're going to party like it's 1999. This is a Queen Elizabeth 1999 Royal Canadian Mint Maple Leaf. One of the older ones, and you can see the, again, you can see the grain on the silver going north and south. These coins always have that grain on them. Very cool piece. Four nines fine silver. I'll flip it over. You see the queenie? There she is. It's a cool piece. 1999. Let's, uh, all right, I'll give you guys this side since you guys all want to see the cool side with the maple. There it is. That's a cool piece. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start this one off at 28. All right. Yeah, congrats on that win, Jonathan. That was a cool piece. Uh, I don't have the nerves for that, says A.A. Ron. Baby queen. Uh, she wasn't quite a baby yet. She was younger, but they actually have the young head queen that's on the uh, 88s and 89s. Uh, she looked super young there. Uh, I think there's actually like four different variations on the maples of what she looked like. Uh, all right, so I got Almighty at 28. I got Hydrag Dad, Silver Sea Captain, all at 28. Mass Man at 30, backed up by Plumber Stacker at 30. What? All right, since Mass Man has the first bid at 30, I'm going to count it down to Mask Man. Will he get it for 30? Woo, I don't know. Can you get this backdated maple for 30? 31 to Plumber Stacker, 32 to Silver Sea Captain. I can't even type in number three yet. So yeah, here we go. Silver Sea Captain, I'm going to count it down to you. Like I said, we got to move. Here we go. Three. Oh, talking about mail in a monster box. I got you, buddy. <laughs> it was nerve wracking. Every, every like three hours, my wife was like, check the tracking, check the tracking, check the tracking, make sure that it's getting there, make sure it's closer. And then eventually it like got to where it was going. And we we're like, whew. I called the dude. I was like, did you get it? He's like, I got it. I was like, good. Thank God. Now I can sleep. All right. So Plumber Stacker at 35. I got Almighty backing it up at 33, but 35 for the high bid. What's the matter with you? They're bouncing me. I told them we were friends. Okay. All right. Get some more products. There we go. All right. So 
Current high bid plumber stacker at 35, and I'm going to count that thing down. Here we go. We're going three. It, it was a monster box of maples. I sold a monster box of maples uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and it was it was heavy. It was a backbreaker. All right, three, two. Count it down. Two. And one. Guys, I am typing in sold. This is to Plumber Stacker. Plumber Stacker. Sold to Plumber Stacker for 35. Congratulations, my friend Plumber. That is your maple. Lovely, my friend. Lovely. Hey, I'm joking. What's happening, my friend? Welcome. All right, here we go, guys. Are you ready? Congrats to you, my friend Plumber. Here is the next piece. Let's see who's going to take it. You guys like poured pieces? I'll show you this side first, right? We're going to build up the suspense. One troy ounce of three nines fine silver. This is definitely a poured button, but what is it? Mutiny metals. Mutiny metals, guys. This is a one ounce mutiny metals poured piece. Beautiful stamp, nice antiquing to it. Looks really cool, guys. So let's go ahead and put that baby right there. And let's start this one off at 30. Again, remember, these are high premium poured pieces from poor artists. So $30 to open, $30 on the Mutiny Metals. Minadila's eyeballing it. 35 Silver Sea Captain, 35. All right, I got 30 from AA Ron, 35 from Silver Smith Shield as well. Another poor artist. Look at that. We have all the, the poorers in the house. All right, I got 40 Silver Smith Shield. Silver Smith Shield's trying to drop a hammer. He says, you guys get out of here. I want this piece. Bodine also wants it. 41 to Bodine. That was a nice uppercut, Bodine. 41 to Bodine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and count this down to Bodine. Here we go. We're going three. Golden Spike Stacker, what's up, man? Three. Nope, I am not counting it down. Silver Sea Captain at 43. Current high bid, 43. Silver Sea Captain. These are so nice, guys. I have two of them, says I'm joking. D. Winky says rare. Yeah, it's, I like my steak rare, too. I like my steak like I like my silver. Rare. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, we're going three. Nope. Silver Smith Shield just came in with 45. All right, that three will go to Silver Smith Shield. As I did type in a three, I think it's coming in a little bit late. So Silver Smith Shield, you got the three to you. All right. So I'm going to count it down two. This is to Silver Smith Shield. And one. High bid of 45. Silver Smith Shield. And I'm typing in S O L D. Sold. I'm a medium kind of guy. Yeah, it just doesn't sound as right when you say I, I'm, I like my silver medium. That doesn't, <laughs> it, it's not funny. So I have to say I like it rare. But I do I do like a rare steak. I think it's good. Uh, not like tartare though, not that rare. All right, here we go. That is awesome. Congratulations. I don't know why I put a glove on for that, but hey, I did. I'm not going to take it back now. So yeah, I got a glove on. So congratulations to you, Silversmith Shield. Very nice piece, my friend. Okay, guys, here is... A, a little bit of a numismatic. I don't often have slabbed coins on my auction, but here's one for you guys. And this is a, here, we're gonna start with this side. It is a W, it is a slabbed graded W quarter. This is a 2019 River of No Return W quarter. All right, so very cool piece. These ones could only be found in the wild, so none of them have graded 70. You won't find one graded 70 because they don't exist. All right, so this was an MS-65. I think the highest ever was like 67 or 68. So this is still a really good one. Really good quarter. River of no return. Super cool. So let's go ahead and start this W quarter off at, let's do eight bucks. 
Eight bucks for a graded quarter. Yep. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Do you have any new reckless rounds? Um, you know, I don't think, no, no, I don't. But there's some really cool stuff coming up here in just a second. All right, I got 25 from C. Weave. She's like, forget this $8 stuff. That's a real quarter, guys. That's a real numismatic piece. $25 to C. Weave. Rich. Oh, did it break? Yeah. Hold on. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. It is not broken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got Sea Weave at 25. Uh, I've got 14 of these from a bankroll. I might send them in. They're amazing looking. Awesome, Jonathan Frank. Good stuff, man. 14 of the W's. That's cool. All right, let's count this down, guys. Three. Two, this is to see weave and one. Now I'm typing in sold to see weave. And it is sold. Congratulations, see weave. That is an awesome piece. Thank you, my friend. That is yours. All right, I think this is the. Yeah, this is the last poured piece of the day. So if you're trying to get some poured pieces, this is gonna be it. This is a half ounce star. It says 0 0.5, three nines fine silver. This is from Jaeger Poured Silvers, YPS, a very well-renowned uh, pour artist, and also a really cool piece. Guys, if you wanna pick up something cool, a nice little half ounce star, that's it right there. So let's go ahead and start this puppy off at 15 guys let's do 15 green husky can run the sunday auctions hey if you want a new a new obligation <laughs> she's like guys i just got i just got a 3d printer i just want to work on the 3d printer truth be told she was working on the 3d printer when i was like hey auctions in an hour or something i said just make sure you come on up and uh she was like grumbled you can see it. What? She, she was like, Ugh, fine. She wanted to work with her 3D printer. So, all right, here we go. Silver Sea Captain, I got you at 20. I'm joking at 22. Silver Sea Captain at 25. Let me see the octopus again. I broke it. You broke another leg? <laughs> all right, guys. So the octopus was a, uh, how many legged? Septopus. It was, it was six legged. Now it's five legged. This is the octopus she was working on when I went down there to uh, to bother her. <laughs> so it's pretty cool looking though. All right, here we go. So I got uh, high bid currently is I'm joking at 27. I'm joking at 27. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. The Green Husky Sunday Gauction. That would be cool. All right, I'm going to count it down to I'm joking. Nope. Yeah, I'm joking with the high bid. Bodine, you might have to refresh your chat. It looks like you're coming in a little bit late, but there you go. There's the 28. All right, Bodine at 28. Let's go ahead and count this down to Bodine. Three. Two. And one. 3D printing is the future, says A.A. Ron. I'm typing in sold. Sold. That is sold for 28 to Bodine. Congratulations, Bodine. Again, I don't know why I put on my glove. I think it's a force of habit. But hey, that's fine. Uh, that is for Bodine. You can put that in a baggie or something. They're right, right there under the receipts. Sounds good. Okay, next up should be right there. One like that's fine. Yeah. All right, next up, guys, we have a Barber Quarter uh, Denver Mint Mark 1915 Barber Quarter. Very cool piece, guys. Very cool piece. Don't sleep on this one. These Barber Quarters are amazing. Look at that stunning design on the reverse. Awesome, awesome quarter. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start this one off at... Five dollars. I know you guys think Silver Husky's crazy, 
That's why you guys miss my auctions. You're like, this guy starts his stuff off at spot. He starts premium stuff off at spot. Five dollars. Liberty shows. Five dollars. Hey, hey, Ron, I got a first bid for five dollars. That's good, man. Great win. I know mine's been running for days. 3D printer. Yeah, Mask Man's printing up a storm. He, I think he goes through resin like by the gallon. It's pretty funny. Nadila at $10. Nadila, I got you at $10 for the high bid. Huge uppercut by Adam. Suits is down. Nadila's not taking any chances. She's like, let me just knock everybody out right away. And that way, nobody will bid on my stuff. And I can get this really cool bar recorder. All right, here we go. We're counting it down to Nadila. Three, two, and one. Just ordered another kilo of resin. Good stuff. Henry Von Muig from out of nowhere. Go ahead and hit him a button. $11 to Henry Von Muig from out of nowhere. High Drag Dad at 12. High Drag Dad with $12. And Richard Martin backing it up with another 12. High Drag, I got you first. Class dismissed. Nadila says, guys, quit playing with my feelings. $13 and leave me alone. Henry comes back with 13 and 14. Man, Henry. <laughs> I heard there were barber flying. What is that? Babers flying here? <laughs> I think I, maybe you meant barbers flying here. I'm not sure. There is a barber. Have at it. All right, $16 to Nadilla. Nadila and Hydrag says, "Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man. All right. So, Nadila, I got you with the high bid of 16. All right. Here we go. We're going to count this one down to Nadila. Three. Two to Nadila. 17 to Henry. Henry at 17. Henry with the high bid. And now Nadila takes over with 20. Nadila, I'm going to count this down to you at 20. Here we go. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Henry said, yes, barbers. And sold. And I, it is not sold. Henry still says 21. Henry is not letting it go without a fight. He says, I am a big fan and supporter of the barber design. And I love it. So I'm going to take it. So 21 it is. All right. So Henry, I got you at 21. We're going to count this one down. Three. Nadila makes the stink face and says 22. All right, so Nadila, since I got you with the 22 and then I said three, that is your three. I'm counting it down to you, Nadila, at three. Final bid, says Henry Von Muig. All right, three. Here we go, two. Chris B says, Nicolette, are you still here? All right, and one. Henry says, I am out. I'm typing in sold, and I think that will be to Nadila for 22. Congratulations, Nadila. That is now your quarter. Beautiful barber quarter, and I love it. Okay, guys, and especially ladies, for the ladies in the room, because I think there's at least two or three right now, I want to show you guys this really cool piece, and I am going to put my glove on for it, even though it is in a box. I got to make some space for it. Here we go. Let me make some space. You guys are going to like this one. This is a pamp. Right? And you guys know these because I've had these on the show before. This is a, a uh, what's it called? Pamp icons. Right, So the pamp icons are super cool because they're actually like jewelry bullion pieces. And this is the crocodile. 10 gram crocodile. 
Now, you haven't seen this on my show yet because I haven't had it on the show yet. We've had the, uh, the zebra and we've had the cheetah. But this one, and this one's actually already out of the assay. Uh, so it hasn't been touched. So I'm just going to pull it out and show it to you guys. This is the crocodile, right? It's a 10 gram jewelry bar. It actually looks a lot like a little mini iPhone, right? Like <laughs> it's got the little phone, like the, the camera thingy on it. But actually it's, it's a jewelry piece. You can slide a little chain through that hole and you got yourself a nice little piece of jewelry. It is a stunning, gorgeous design. And these things will eventually, if you wear them, they will tone up. So it'll actually get some character to it. Pamp, Pamp 10 gram fine silver, three nines fine, right? And at the bottom it says Swiss made. So stunning design, beautiful piece. Um, let me show you the assay for it. So yes, the assay looks like it, it split open. Um, I think it maybe accidentally split open like the glue gave out or something. But uh, but yeah, this is it right here. And uh, there's a serial number for it. And you can see the uh, front and bottom or top and bottom. So there it is. That's the piece. So you can put it back in there if you want. But I just wanted to show you guys how cool this piece is. And it's a 10 grammer. These things carry a crazy premium because it is technically it's jewelry, right? It's a nice little jewelry piece. And the nice little presentation box and everything. So uh, yeah, there it is. Let's go ahead and start this one off uh, at 20. 20. And just so you guys know, this goes for a whole lot more than 20. So this is like way below that, right? Think PAMP, right? Think PAMP. That's what this is. So stunning, guys. All right, so we have 20 to start. I've been waiting for this, says Mask Man. Uh-oh, I think maybe Mask Man wants to get this for the misses. 28, 28, dude, the misses would love this one. This is gorgeous. I, I'm actually, I've been looking for this one and I've been looking for the Cobra because there's one with a Cobra like design on it that's really cool too. But I think this one and the Cobra are probably one of the cooler ones. Uh, all right, so I got 30, Silver Sea Captain. I know he wants to get that for the misses. I'm joking at 33, Mask Man at 36. Hey, big guy, the sun's getting real low. Nicolette says, I have Instagram. DM me, Chris B. Same name. Right on. All right, Mask Man at 36. 36 to Mr. Mask. Do we have 37? All right. All right, Mask Man. I don't know. Is this going to happen? Here we go. We're going to count that down to you. There's a chance, man. There's a chance. You could, in theory, you could get this thing at 36. So let's see if it happens, guys. Let's see if the snipers are locked and loaded, if they're ready to, to shoot this thing up uh, to the moon, right? Pamp to the moon. Here we go. We're going three. And two. 37, Silver Sea Captain. He says, I got to get something nice for the missus. We had Valentine's Day, and, you know, she stole the, uh, what was it? <laughs> I think it was the um, Britannia bar. So he's like, I got I to gotta get something. I got to get something better. Here we go. All right, I got 37 to Silver Sea Captain, 39 to Mask Man. Mask Man's not letting it go, guys. He really likes it, and I can't say I blame him. It is a nice piece. 39, Mask Man. All right, Mask Man, here we go. I'm counting it down to you again. Three. Two, one, and this piece is S-O-L-D. If the snipers ain't ready, you guys are done. Typed in sold. Did it take? Did it take? It did. Mask Man, that is yours. Congratulations, 39. Let me just take a second to put this piece away so that it does not get any contact on it. All right, so it is now back in its case right there and put this thing away for you buddy congrats my friend all right let's let's do that all right that is coming home to papa papa mask all right that's for mask man okay next piece up guys congratulations on that that was a cool win buddy all right next piece up saint helena 
I actually used to have a really good coworker friend of mine named Helena when I lived in uh, in Florida. Super awesome friend. But yes, Saint Helena, and she used to talk about green husky and say she's so beautiful. She's like a doll, and I I loved when she would say that because you would see my daughter blush up, and <laughs> she's probably blushing right now. She's like, "Shut up, Dad! Stop talking!" All right, so the Saint Helena, right? This is from the East India Company, and look at that design, guys. Look at that field, how it has that really cool little crosshash to it. It's awesome, just an awesome, awesome design. This is a 2021 Queen's Virtues Victory, right? This is the Winged Victory, probably the same lady on the Libertad, the Winged Angel of Victory, and she's holding a palm frond. So let's go ahead and stand this puppy up right here. And that is just a nice, nice design. Okay, guys, so let's go 30 to open. 30 to open. It is pretty. I know it, man. It's such a cool piece. 30 to open. All right, I got 30 from High Drag Dad, 30 from Henry, and Vic's coming in at 32. Okay, man, my butt falls asleep it's sitting down too long to stand up every now and then just to get the blood flowing. All right, here we go. Uh, 33, I'm joking, 35 to the saint, 35 to almighty, and 36 to I'm joking. What's the matter with you? They're bouncing me. I told them we were friends. 42, serious bid, 42 from Richard Martin. And High Drag Dad can't keep up. He's bidding 36 and 37, but the high bid sits with Richard Martin at 42. Richard at 42. All right, I got 43 to High Drag. He said, like heck I can't. All right, go ahead, give him a graphic. All right, Richard Martin, I've got you with High Drag Dad beating you out at 43. High Drag Dad, 43. I'm counting it down, buddy. Here we go. Three, two, and one. And I'm typing in sold. That is sold. Hold on. Nope, it is not. Out of nowhere, Oregon Stacker shows up to the show and throws a 44 out there. Oregon Stacker with the new high bid, 44. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's basically it's like who woke up uh who woke up um Oregon Stacker. He came out of nowhere and just like boom, sniped it. Bin. All right, here we go. 3. This is to Oregon, guys. This is for 44. 2 and 1. And I'm typing in sold. This is going to be to Oregon Stacker. Sold to Oregon Stacker. Let's see if it takes. Been waiting for a cool piece. Oh, he's been watching. That's what's up. He's just been uh, kind of sneaky. Lurking. Lurking, lurking. All right. Man, that one stings. Hi, Drag Dad. Hey, Hi, Drag Dad. I'll tell you what, man. Let me show you something cool. Um, so that is the brilliant uncirculated of the coins, right? Well, I'm going to show you real quickly... Uh, I actually got the proof as well. So there's there's the proof. There's the BU. So there there is a difference between these two. You can see the cross hash in the background. This proof is stunning, dude. It is a stunning coin. I think there's like a fingerprint on the capsule, but there it is. There we go. Now you can see. It is a stunning coin and high relief too. So anyways, um, that's also on the website <laughs> if you want to purchase it you're more than welcome to go ahead and do that but it is not up for auction but uh but yeah that was a great win oregon congratulations buddy very nicely done all right next one monster box of, for oregon stacker please <laughs> yeah he can he's got an appetite for silver he loves it all right here we go one gram geiger let's go five bucks 
to open, five bucks to open on the one gram Geiger. And you can't even get the loose ones for that price. Here we go, five bucks. Just waiting to pounce on something, says Oregon. Good stuff. All right, I got five bucks. High drag dad, five bucks. Good stuff. Five reindeer, he says. <laughs> That's funny. All right, here we go, guys. What do we got? We got $12 for to Vic Stackingschloss. $12 to Vic Stackingschloss. That is a solid bid, buddy. Solid bid, my dude. Very cool. Okay, let me I have to open up my chat again, refresh it, because I think it might be time to put in another dime. Nope, not yet. We're only at 62 likes. If you haven't hit like yet, please make sure you do. If we get to 75, we'll throw another dime into the end of stream. Guys, it's a, it's probably over three bucks face of um, constitutional silver. So really good stuff. Really good stuff. I got Golden Spike Stacker at 13 and Vic coming back at 14. Oregon didn't even bid on the maple. I know, he's got plenty of maples. All right, here we go. I got Vic at 14. Class dismissed. Okay, Vic, I'm counting that one down to you. We've got three. And I'm going two. Counting this down to Vic Stackingschloss at 14. One. And I am typing in soul to you, my buddy. Did it take? It did not take. Golden Spike Stacker came in out of nowhere with 15 with the high bid. It's a matter of fact. They're bouncing me. I told them we were friends. Vic will not let go of that either. He said 16. Jumper cut by Adam. Suits it down. And I'm counting that down to Vic. We said three. Let's do two. And one. And here it is, guys. Sold. It is sold to Vic Stacking Schloss. Did it come up? Yes, it is. Okay, that is yours, Vic. Congratulations for 16. That's your Geiger. Okay, guys, this one is cool. I know somebody, I think it was uh, you, Oregon, saying you've been looking for something cool. I got something cool for you. And this is cool because I've never seen it before. And I heard it, there's an old adage when it comes to coins. If it's something you've never seen before, get it, right? And this, that's this. I don't know why I've ne it's never popped up on my radar. You guys like stacker rounds, right? You've seen them like, uh, I think, uh, who is it? The Scottsdale Mint does the uh, the lion stacker rounds. Then there's, I think someone else does the ones that look like poker chips. And those are stacker rounds. Now, have you ever seen this one? This is a Poseidon. All right, there he is. Poseidon stacker round. Look at that extraordinarily high relief, right? It is high relief. But what makes it a stacker round? Well, it's the reverse. Whoa, it's in -cuse. Look at that, it's an incused stack around. So here you go. That is the stack around. But what good is a stack around if you don't have anything to stack it on? Well, okay, great. Here's the auction, it's for two of them. So you get both. This is to stack them on each other. And I think that's important, right? Because what good is a stacker? Like if you had the 100 ounce Scottsdale King Stacker Bar, what good is that if you only got one? You need both. So here you go, there's two. We're gonna put them on each other and I'm gonna show you just how this works. So let's line them up just like that. And there, they locked. See, they lock onto each other. Those are the stackers. Super cool. So you get two of them in this auction. This is a lot auction. A lot of two. All right, guys, so who wants it? Let's go ahead and let's zoom in on these, these bad boys right there. There you go. Yeah, these are really cool. And again, I've never seen this before. I'm joking says I even have this tattoo. How about that? All right, I guess that I guess you know what that means, man. All right, here we go. We're going to start this one off at 60. Again, this is for 2 ounces, 2 ounces. It's not 2 for the price of one. I wish it was. 
but it is uh it is two ounces in one lot all right i got 60 from silver sea captain high drag dad at 61 all right 65 for silver sea captain 65 to silver sea captain very cool all right, I got 70 Silver Sea Captain because Hydrag Dad came back, or actually Stillers came and said 66. And I got 67, but that is not going to beat out Silver Sea Captain at 70. Hey, big guy, the sun's getting real low. Oregon Stacker, 72. Just putting them in the dirt. And again, guys, like I said, I've never seen this one before, so I had to jump all over it. I was like, uh, both. I need both of those. <laughs> and again, I can't provide just one to you guys because that would be silly. I need to give you guys both of them so you can stack them. That's a little little conversation piece, right? It's pretty awesome. All right, so Hydrag Dad says, I'm down for the count. I think that's what he's saying. Not sure. Play the guy throwing the trident. All right, so that is... Good call. Very good call on that. We need the trident in that one, right? <laughs> this is for both. It is two ounces total, uh, Richard Martin. It is a, The auction lot is for two ounces. They are stackers. I will demonstrate one more time for you guys. Uh, as I see Oregon Stacker now bid 76. So to give you a close up, again, this is the reverse. It is in Qs. This is the obverse, it has relief, and you put one on top of the other, and then you line them up, and they seat on top of each other, and they are stacked, right? They stack very nicely, just like that. So, very cool stacker piece, I love the design, I love the thought process behind it, and they are each one ounce, and you can see right here, uh, it does have some wording, three nines fine silver, right? and one ounce right there on the right side. So cool piece. It doesn't say that on the other side. It doesn't say one ounce on this side. So it's only on the uh, on the reverse that it says that. So again, both for both for one auction, right? Both for one lot. So I've got current bids, uh, Silver Sea Captain 77, Stiller Stacker 78. What's the matter with you? They're bouncing me, I told them we were friends. And Oregon punches back with an 80, 80 to Oregon Stacker. Yeah, man. All right, those are nice. I agree, Nadilla. All right, 80, Oregon Stacker. We're going to count it down. Let's see if this, this doesn't get any snipes. I'd be surprised if there aren't like three, four people just waiting for the snipe. Here we go. We're going three. I'm already jealous of the winner. Two. It's going to look nice in the stack, he says. And one. And I am typing in sold, my friends. Sold. 81. Stiller Stacker beat me to it with the snipe. That was a very clean snipe. Uh, Stillers, it was a very close snipe too. I would actually uh, recommend that you be careful with that because you almost missed it, man. That was so close. Oregon says, dang it. All right, I'm counting it down, guys. We're going three, two, one. Here it comes, guys. Typing in sold. Oh, what happened? Sold. 82 Oregon Stacker beat me to it. Wow, dude. That was fast. That was a fast, fast snipe. All right. The snipe back just happened. Hey, big guy. The sun's getting real low. Now, here's what we're going to do I'm going to count it down fast. And if the sniper's fast enough, he'll beat me, but I don't think he will. Here we go. To Oregon Stacker, let's see if it's yours or not. I'm not losing over two bucks, says Oregon. I amen to that, man. You're so, so far into it. You can't lose for two bucks. Here we go. Three. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Messed that one up. Three. Two. One. Fat, fat fingers, guys. Typing in sold. 
Snipers are on the lurk. Yeah, I, I went two, three, two, one. <laughs> but you still got it. You still got it, Oregon. Here we go. All right, Oregon, you got it, man. That is your win. Congratulations, my friend. Fantastic win. Both of these are coming. Woo! Hammer couldn't take it. All right, both of those are coming to you. That is a good, good win. All right. And beautiful stackers. Nice Poseidon. Very nice. Okay, guys, gold. We've got our first spot of fractional gold. Not not the uh, not counting the uh, what's it called the the gold backs. Here it is, guys. This is a 1999 one tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. 1999 one tenth ounce American Gold. Let me let me get a little close up on you. There we go. Come on. I know you can do it. There it is. There it is. She's pretty. That's a nice 1999 one tenth ounce fractional gold eagle, right? This is the most uh, recognizable bullion coin in the world, the American gold eagle, right? There it is, guys. So let's go ahead. It has one tenth of an ounce of actual gold weight to it. Uh, and let's go ahead and start this one. Gold. That is right, man. Gold. All right. I love gold. Party like it's 1999. That's right. A lot of the items today were 19 were 1999 dated. It's kind of crazy. Why is my phone buzzing? Oh, it's the wife texting. No, <laughs> mask man. Every time, buddy. Every time. All right, here we go. So this 1999 one tenth ounce. Let's start it at uh, 210. 210. What? What? 210 for gold? You can't even find gold right now. All right, 210. Let's go. Congrats, Oregon Stacker. You put up a good fight. My son was encouraging me to keep bidding, says Stillers. Yeah, I think you were close, man. I don't know if he would have let it go too much longer or would have kept going too much longer. You were probably really close, Stillers. All right, I got I got Henry at 210. I got Oregon also at 210. High drag at 210. Richard Martin, 225. Not playing around. He's just throwing a punch. He says, you know what? Let's Let's weed out the men from the boys right? Or the boys from the men? I don't know. Let's weed out the ones who are not really game. Silver Sea Captain's game. He says 230. High Drag Dad just missed with 226. Stiller Stacker's good battle, brother. Tell your son hi, and you guys put up a good fight. That's good stuff, man. That guy is such a good sportsman. Good stuff, Oregon. 231. High Drag Dad is in. Huge uppercut by Adam. Has some knuckles right to the chin. Knuckles to the chin. Let's get this. There we go. There's a nice angle. Let me see if I can get in a little closer. Come on. You can focus. You can do it. There we go. That's nice. All right. Here we go. 231 to high drag. 231 to high drag. I'm going to count it down to you, high drag. Here we go. Three. Richard Martin says, touche. Two. Oh, here goes the gold, guys. One for 231. Sold. American Eagle backdate. And it is sold. Congratulations, High Drag Dad. Wow, deal of the day, guys. That was an awesome win. All right, there we go, guys. That is going to High Drag Dad. 231. Director of Awesome just missed it, man. Just missed it. That guy's been lurking. Lurking, DOA. He's lurking in the background. Director of Awesome. Mess around with DOA. Be on your way. Hey, you guys know what his favorite video is, by the way? Director of Awesome's favorite video? It's this one right here. Ah, oh, why is it broken? Come on, work. It's a little bit buggy, but hey, that's okay. Yeah, he just missed the snipe, DOA. Good stuff, man. Sniper no sniping. He loves that video. There you go. All right, the kooks, right? All right, guys, next one, next one, next one. 
Next item up for grabs is a 20, get this, 20 gram uh, Geiger bar in assay, right? There's the cereal. Yep, look at that. There's so much reflection. You can see my window. All right. Serial number, and here, oh, here is the piece. Very cool. Schloss Golden Gossa, 20 gram. We're gonna go crazy again, guys. Let's start it off at 25 bucks. 25 bucks for the 20 gram Geiger in assay. What? There you go. I'm buying gold over here like the economy is going to crash or something, says Hydrag Dad. That's funny, dude. All right, good show with Stormy the other night, DOA, says Oregon Stacker. Yeah, man. DOA puts on a good show, and it's not just a show either. Like, he, he is very entertaining in the fact that the dude knows a lot of stuff, and he's very insightful. He's not just squawking, you know? It's insightful stuff, so... Here we go, the Saint at 40. Saint at 40, 45 to Golden Spike Stacker, high bid. And I'm joking says, is there something special about Geiger? Uh, I'm joking, there is definitely something special about Geiger. Everybody loves them and they're hard to find. You can't get them. Like, and if you can get them, it's because you paid a lot for them because they carry a high premium. They're just really cleanly done. Uh, as far as private mints go, they're one of the finest. They're up there with, uh, you know, PAMP. Um, I, I would rate them potentially even better than PAMP. They're just classy, classy, classy pieces. And it's jamming. It's the jammins, right? Jammin silver, man. <laughs> that's what i'm talking about it's almost jamaican in german so german silver man geigers are my favorite besides silver eagle says oregon stacker all right high bid golden spike stacker 45 i'm gonna count it down to you here we go three two and one and i'm gonna type in sold that is sold to Golden Spike Stacker for 45. Very nice. German engineering is very good. I saw this one commercial one time. Uh, it was for, I don't know, for like some foreign language uh, classes or something. And it was these uh, German guys and they were on their submarine and they're explaining, you know, where all the buttons are and all that to the new guy. And then the, the senior guy leaves. And then the new guy, uh, he's left alone and he's sitting there. And then finally he gets an SOS message and and he hears the Americans on the other line. And they're like, Mayday, 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 we are sinking. Can you hear me? We are sinking. And then the German guy is like, uh, yes, uh, hello. Uh, what are you thinking about? <laughs> and it was basically like, learn English, right? Learn <laughs> Learned what you're talking about. It was pretty funny. Uh, anyways, that, that's neither here nor there. Let's get the next items going, guys. Next items up for grabs. <laughs> I thought it was funny. All right, here we go. Next item is a, get it, get it? It's a Queen's Beast. Queen's Beast. Black Bull of Clarence. Yes, we had one early on in the show. We have another one. There we go. That is the Black Bull of Clarence. A stunning, stunning piece. Here it is. Miss Queenie herself. Two ounces. Piedfurt, right? Nice and chunky. That's how we like silver. All right. I like my silver like I like my peanut butter. Chunky. All right. There we go. And that is it. All right. We're going to start this one off at 60. 60 for you guys. Sixty. I'll have to find that commercial for you guys. It was hilarious, just hilarious. Actually, let me see if I can find it on here. Um, let's go to. Can you type in YouTube? Okay, I got it. That is not. That is not YouTube. Okay. Um, 
All right, I got 60 from Silver Sax. I got High Drag Dad at 60. Also, type in, what are you syncing them up? Here I got, oh, that wasn't it. Backspace again. Okay, there it is. Okay, I got 60 to High Drag Dad. And I'm going to put this on full screen and we're going to show you guys this and it's going to be funny. It's going to be funny. Okay. Hi, Drag Dad. I got you at 60. I'm going to show this commercial real quick. It's going to be hilarious. And then we're going to, uh, then we're going to go right back to it. Okay. So let's do, let me see if I can turn on the other screen window capture. Will it work? Nope. How about this one? Nope, that's not working either. How about if I turn off, I'm gonna mess something up here, watch. Oh, screen display, there it is. Are you guys ready? Let's play this real quick, it's funny. It's my sector. This here is the most important of the Wächter. This Gerät and this Gerät. Überlebensradar. Can you hear us? Can you okay, over? Me, we are sinking. We are sink. Hello. This is the German Coast Guard. We are sinking. We're sinking. What are you thinking about? That was pretty funny, right? All right, I got Silver Sax at 62. Silver Sax at 62. All right, that was funny. I can't wait for the next stimmy. I need some two ounce pieces. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. That was good. <laughs> I'm joking, he's laughing. <laughs> I thought it was a great commercial, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. You can close that out if you want. All right, so I'm gonna count it down. $62 for the Black Bull of Clarence. I've never seen that. All right, here we go, guys. I'm, I'm doing it. We're going three. That was even funnier than the way you described it. I know, right? That was like the best commercial I've ever seen. <laughs> 63 to Stiller Stacker. Somebody's getting a deal today. Stiller Stacker, I think it's going to be you. Counting down three to Stiller Stacker. Going, nope, Silver Sax is at 64. Stimmy's going straight to medals. Great, High Drag Dad. I hope you get it before next weekend because if you guys missed it, as I mentioned earlier, next Sunday is going to be the last the very last Silver Husky regularly scheduled Sunday auction. Uh, we are transitioning what we're working on and what we're working towards, and a lot more energy is going to go towards Metal Merchant, so I have to cut back on uh, focus in other areas. So unfortunately, uh, next auction is going to be the big one, guys. I hope to see you there. That would be really awesome if you guys all be there. That would be awesome. All right, so here we go. Uh, Silver Sacks, I got you at 67 Silver Sax at 67 uh, with the current high bid. Huge uppercut by Adam. Zeus is down. All right, I'm counting it down, guys. We're going three and two. And yes, High Drag Dad, we hope you do continue to buy through the Metal Merchant. Again, currently... Instagram, very, very soon, online store is going to be open. We're actually in the process of populating it. So that's that's an undertaking, but it's definitely something that we're moving and grooving on. Roughly about uh, 30 to 40 items going up daily right now. Uh, and then once everything's ready to run, we're going to you know basically release it into the wild. It's going to be awesome. Oregon Stacker says, congrats on Metal Merchant. You and DOA rock. Oh, man, thank you so much. It's not just us two. We actually also... Uh, incorporate um, uh, Juice Stacker. So if you guys aren't familiar with him, he's a really, really nice guy, really cool dude. Uh, he's actually part of the whole project. So uh, here we go, guys. We're, got, we're at 68 uh, from MRG22, 69 to Silver Sax. 69 to Silver Sax. And Silver Sax, I'm counting it down to you, buddy. We're going three, two, one juice is good people and i'm typing in sold 
Nope, it is not sold. That is at 70. MRG22 just beat me to it. MRG22 with the snipe. Super snipe. That's what I'm talking about. 71 to Silver Sax. It is not over yet, guys. This is a bare knuckle brawl. Let's go ahead and get some trident action in here. All right, we have Silver Sax at 71, and that is counting down to you. Snipers, if you're going to snipe, you better snipe now. This thing is flying. Three. Two. And one. S-O-L-D, guys. Again, this is two Silver Sax. Sold. No, it is not sold. I've got 72. Wait, what am I at? <laughs> Was that it? He beat me to it, right? 72 is in. 72 is in, guys. 72 is in. We have another snipe. Holy cow, guys. I'm having trouble keeping track of all this. This is crazy. He enjoyed the trident toss so much that he kept bidding it up. He threw another trident. So we had 72, and then Silver Sax comes back with 73. A re-snipe. 74. MRG is not done yet. We have a firefight, guys. And 80 from Silver Sax. There was a firefight! 80 from Silver Sax. All right, Silver Sax, we are counting this down to you, the Black Bull of Clarence. Here we go, three. There was a firefight! Two. And one. I'm typing in sold, my friends. Sold, 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 sold. That is to Silver Sax for 80. Did it take? It did. Congratulations, Mr. Silver Sax. That is yours, 80. And that is a nice piece. Very cool. All right, that's coming home to you, buddy. Guys, that commercial was funny, wasn't it, though? I know you guys liked it. That was a cool commercial. Okay, next up, my people. That was no bull, says the saint. That's right. That was the black bull. It was no bull. All right. Here we go. This is the Germania Allegories. Germania Allegories. This is going to be priced to move, guys. You will not find this piece at the price I'm about to drop right now. You won't find it anywhere. Let's start at 27. 27. You got somebody's rolling over in their grave right now saying, 27? Who who puts a Germania piece up for 27? That's ridiculous. All right, 27 to open. I got Oregon Stacker at 27. Henry Von Muig at 30. I got 30. Bunch of 30s. 33 from I'm Joking. 33 from I'm Joking with the high bid. He's serious. He's serious. But will they get up to the normal retail value of the coin like this? I don't know. 33, Henry... 34, Henry. 34 to Henry. Nadila's coming in just a second late with 34. Same with Hydrag Dad. Class dismissed. Oregon Stacker at 35, and then Hydrag at 36. Silver Sea Captain at 37. 38 to Henry Von Muig. 38, Nadila, just a second late. I'm joking, 39. D-Winky at 40. D-Winky's always ready to go, and he's just lurking in the background, waiting, right? Henry comes in with 40 as well, but then Richard Martin with 42. And Nadila at 42 as well. I have 44 from High Drag Dad. I'm joking is out. High Drag Dad with the high bid. We will count it. No, we won't. D Winky. D Winky 48. <laughs> That was an awesome bid, D-Winky. I wasn't expecting to see that come out of nowhere. 
Here we go, 50, Nadila, 50. <laughs> Richard Martin. Why would I even try fighting with a dude who's made of flames? Right? I don't know. I don't know. Why would you? It's crazy. 52 to D-Winky. <laughs> That's terrible, right? That's terrible. 52, D. Winky, I'm counting it down to you, my friend. Three. Get a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Two. And one. And guys, I'm typing in S-O-L-D. This is going sold. Sold to D. Winky. Let's see. Does it take... 53, it does not. Nadila sniped the daylights out of it. Nadila, good snipe. Let's do this one. Very nice, Nadila. That was a heck of a snipe, too. I know, right? D-Wing is like, OMG, that was mine. What the heck? I know. Yeah, we go by what's on the screen. <laughs> That's why I have it there, because otherwise people wouldn't believe me. That was that was so close. That was a heck of a snipe. All right, here we go. Uh, I am doing three. Would you have thought the sprinkler system would have turned, or you would have thought the sprinkler system would have turned on? All right, we're going two. Nadila one. Nope. D Winky. He's like, you know what? This is off principle now. I'm I'm not even playing. I want this piece. D Winky says fifty four. And, and we're done 54 let's go let's go let's go all right we're going three holy nadila batman that's right three two this is to d winky two counting it down one to d winky and i'm typing in sold here it is sold to mr d winky does it take does it hold it does not nadila says no way guys no way you are not done I am not done. 55. We are on. Hey, big guy. The sun's getting real low. And D. Winky doing 56. This is something of a firefight. That was a firefight! Holy guacamole. Holy smokes. All right, D. Winky, I got you at 56, buddy. Let's see it. Let's do it. Three. Two, I'm almost like there's no point because I know Nadila's gonna snipe it. And one, Saints got his popcorn out. Type it in, sold. 60, it is not sold. We are not done. I can't even get to sold because Nadila's just not having it. That is that is power. Do the Batman one. We got the Batman one in there. There you go. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. That's right. That's right. That is Nadila right there. She's like, I have superpowers. I just don't show them. I just don't show them to nobody. All right, Nadila, we got we got you. We got three. We're going two. <laughs> High track dad, is that a mask? I don't know what that is. And one. And I'm typing in sold. Welcome to Sniper Fest 2021. All right, here we go. That is sold. I don't think there's any snipes on that. D. Winky said, enjoy. All right, that was a heck of a fight. Wow, Nadila. Congratulations. Cool piece. Going to a cool friend. And all right, here we go, guys. We have the Zoit Dorp triangle round or triangle coin. I don't often have these on the show, but man, look at that. That is super reflective. Uh, this is a 20, I believe it's 2020. Let me, let me double check this. Uh, Zoit Dorp. And where's the year? $1. I'm sure it's on here somewhere. I just can't find it. I don't know. Anyways, regardless. Uh, here you go. This is the, the boat. It's upside down on purpose because it is a shipwreck. It is a 1712 shipwreck. Zoit Dorp. Right? Cool piece. Very cool piece. One dollar. One dollar make you holla, guys. One dollar make you holla. All right, guys, here you go. 
This is the Zoit Dorp. And this one, we're going to start this. I need two of those, says Henry. All right, well, check it out. This one's going for 30. Starting it off. Who's got it for 30? Yeah, Nadila, congrats on that. That was a heck of a fight, by the way. <laughs> it stresses me out, says Hydra. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Zoit Dorp. We got Henry at 30. I'm joking at 33. I'm joking at 33. All right. I've got 35 to Henry. Henry at 35. What? High Drag Dad is underbidding. 34. Not sure why, but that's cool. Still with Henry. 35. This is what is this? A reverse auction. <laughs> the reverse auction. We gotta try that one day. Maybe we'll do a reverse auction. All right, 36 to Oregon Stacker. Thirty-seven, Henry. Henry von Muig at thirty-seven. All right, Henry. Nope, we got high drag. High drag's at thirty-eight. High drag. I think we're gonna count it down to you. Let's do it. If anybody wants to like bid now or forever, hold your peace. Oh, it's Henry. Henry thirty-nine. All right, Henry. We're gonna bid now or forever hold your peace because I'm counting down and I'm gonna count down lightning fast like i said we got stuff to get through uh we got two more pieces after this zoit dorp and that is it for this auction we will do the end of stream giveaway oh 40 and 41 henry's at 41 now henry i got you with your high bid of 41 we got 63 likes in the chat guys if you haven't hit the like button yet please do if we get to 75 i'll throw another dime into the end of stream and this end of stream is hefty right now guys it is Hefty, super cool. All right, guys, here we go. I got 41 to Henry. I'm counting to get, oh, nope, 42. Uh, high drag dad, I got you at 42. So let's count this down to high drag. We're going three, two. Henry's out, uh-oh. Snipers, no sniping. Just kidding, unless you want to. One, two, high drag dad at 42. And I'm typing in sold. All right, sold. That is sold, sold, sold. Very cool. Congratulations, my friend. Hi, Drag Dad. 42 to you, buddy. All right, guys. Let's get this thing going. Let's, just, let's get this thing going. Two items left, my friends. Two items left. Second to last item, 1999 American Gold Eagle. 1999 American Gold Eagle. Opening bid for this, 220. Opening bid is 220. Let's go, 220. Uh, here we go, 220. Oh, nope, Henry said 210. 210 is the opening bid, guys. Sorry, 220. <laughs> there you go, Silver Sea Captain, 220. 220, 220, 220. Got three bids for 220 right off the bat. Uh, Silver Sea Captain, you came in first. You got first bid. 225, Richard Martin, 230, Silver Sea Captain. 230 is the high bid. That's like the coolest scene when he picks up the hammer and just starts wailing on uh, on Thanos. But for some reason, this Thanos, this Thanos seems a whole lot stronger than the one in the first episode. But Silver Sea Captain. Oh, Henry, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day, buddy. See you soon. Uh, all right, I already got one today. I bowed down, says High Drag Dad. So it looks like the current high bid rests with Silver Sea Captain. Let's see if there will be any snipers. Any snipers. Here we go. We're going three. Everybody says goodbye, Henry. We'll miss you. Gold rules. That's right. Silver Sea Captain with the high bid, 233. Two. 231, Richard Martin. Just, just barely bidding him up. We got 231, Richard Martin, 231. Here we go. Richard, three. And two. And one. And I'm typing in S-O-L-D. That is to 
Richard Martin for 231. Boom. And it did not happen. Holy cow, that was a heck of a snipe. Silver Sea Captain by $1. By $1. Just beat him out. 232 right before the bell. That is a heck of a bid. Man. All right, 232. Silver Sea Captain, I got you, buddy. All right, bid now. Forever hold your peace. We're going fast on this one. We're going to count it down. Three. Here's your last chance, guys. Two for the gold. 233, Richard Martin's not taking any chances. He says that gold is still, still very, very cheap. Very affordable for a backdated gold eagle. Come on, guys. That is an awesome deal. If I ever saw one, I'd bid on it. <laughs> 234, Silver Sea Captain, 234. Counting it down. Let's go ahead and give him a graphic real quick. High Drag Dad says, right, Oregon Stacker. I need to chill. That's funny. All right, here we go. 235 to Richard Martin. 235. Richard Martin, we're going to count it down. We're going to count it down fast. Are you ready? On your marks. Get set. All right, here we go. Three. Two. I'm back. Can't figure out how to fill my taxes out online. One. <laughs> Dude, I tell you, man, that's so true. And we're typing in sold. Sold. Richard Martin, I got you sold. 235. Very nice bid. That is yours, man. So Silver Huskies Auctions is where I would rather be. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you, Clinton. Really appreciate that. Uh, that is an awesome win, my friend. I'm going to put that in a little flip for you, Richard Martin. And that's coming home to you, buddy. All right. That is for Richard Martin. Okay, guys. Last item of the day. Last item of the day. Tell me who wants it. This is series one. Or sorry. Uh, item one of the series. Right? This is item one of the... You guys know I'm a huge fan of first in series. Right? Let me get some, some of these props up. Yep. Got to have the props up. Here we go. You guys ready? Oh, you've seen a bunch of them already. I've been showing them all day. This is the Queen's Beast, and it is the Griffin of Edward. Yeah, this is the first one of the whole series, 2017, Griffin of Edward. Great condition, guys. This is a nice coin. If you don't have it already, you need it. If you didn't, if you do already have it, you need a second one. <laughs> They're just really cool. But yeah, that's the Griffin of Edward. It is easily the the prettiest uh the nicest design the most sought after the hardest to find and i this is the one that i again i have it in 10 ounce on the wall right back there so yeah i'm i'm an advocate of the griffin of edward i think it's a gorgeous design let me get that to focus come on you can do it camera you can do it just focus a little bit for me come on there we go all right it's good. All right, so guys, let's get this one started. We're gonna start this one. Again, this is a two ounce Queen's Beast. Two ounce Queen's Beast. Uh, no silver sacks, the lion came second. Um, right? Am I am I mistaken? Have I lost my mind? I think the, the Lion of Edward, or sorry, the Lion of England, I'm pretty sure was second in the series. Um, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. I'm pretty sure this was the, the very first in the series, so. Anyway, someone else. Okay, Henry says, "Yep, the lion was first. Okay, so I'm I'm wrong. <laughs> I thought the lion came second. So yes, it is. This is the second in the series. Then I stand corrected. Thank you guys. Lost my mind one still or lost my mind one still can't find it. All right, we're gonna start this one, guys, at 65, 65 to open. As you guys know, this one goes for well over a hundred on eBay. If you're lucky enough to find one, uh, they do hit the triple digits fairly regularly." So great piece, great coin. Aaron Krause says it's still nice. That's what I'm talking about. Very cool. All right, here we go, guys. We have 65 opening up from Oregon Stacker. High Drag Dad coming in at 65 also. Very nice. I got 66 from High Drag Dad. Aaron Krause, 66. 68 to Oregon Stacker. 
This one is nicer than the Lion. I actually, I really like the Lion too. Uh, look, check it out. I'll show you. I got the, uh, the Lion in quarter ounce gold. It's a beauty. That's the Lion of England. Um, and yep, you're right. It is a 2016. So I guess the Lion did come first. So thank you guys for clarifying that for me. Uh, very nicely done. So yes, this is the, uh, the Griffin of Edward. I've got 70 to Rafe. Rafe, where'd you come from, man? Rafe coming in out of nowhere. All right, let me go ahead and get a graphic for Rafe. I need to get Rafe a graphic. Rafe gets the Wolverine graphic. Very nice. All right, so I got Rafe at 70, Henry at 70. I got Hydrag Dad at 69, and Aaron Krause coming in at 75. 80, MRG 22. 80 has the high bid. 80 for MRG 22. Class dismissed. Class dismissed. High bid to MRG22. That's cool, Husky. Yeah, I like that quarter ounce, man. I'm a big fan of those quarter ounces. Can you confirm payment on both of my items? Uh, D. Winky, I'll have to do that at the end after this item. Um, I'll do it in just a second, buddy. Uh, Rafe, always watching from the corner. He is, man. He's always watching. Yo, he's always watching, man. He's like the kids. The kids are always watching. All right, MRG 22, I got you at 80. I'm going to count it down to you, MRG, for 80. Here we go, buddy. We're going three. And two. And one. And I'm typing in so... No, I am not. Henry Von Muick comes in at 81. Henry, I thought you left, man. Uh, Still Stiller Stacker also at 81. Henry, I had Henry first. Yep, that is a great deal. Henry first at 81. So Henry, I'm going to, well, nope, because MRG just said 82, 82 to MRG. What's the matter with you? You're embarrassing me. I told them we were friends. You're embarrassing me. All right, Stiller's stacker at 83. All right, Stillers, I see you with the high bid, so I'm going to go ahead and count it down, buddy. Here we go. We're going to Stillers, 83, first bid, 3, 84 to Henry. Henry's not letting it go. Henry loves this coin. He says, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. I need it in my stack. I need it to add to my collection. All right, 85 to MRG, 86 to Henry. QQ, he says, I have five already. I need to add to that stack. I bet he's trying to work on a tube. I bet you could get a tube, man. You could totally fill up a tube with what you find on the auctions, man. That's good stuff. All right, Henry likes it. He's got it for 86, and I'm going to count that down. Here we go. Three, <laughs> MRG said, I thought you left, Henry. 87 to, to MRG. That is a firefight. Uh, that was a All right, 87, high bid. All right, hold on. I got it. Somebody's emailing me real quick. So I'm going to check this right quick. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right, um, I'll come back to that. Okay, so current bid 87 MRG, 22 at 87, and I'm going to count it down. And he says, okay, I'm out now. Henry says he's out. <laughs> I have a few tubes. Yes, they're pennies, but still tubes. That's funny, Clinton. It's all good, man. All right, so MRG. Griffin is my second favorite. Very cool. I bet he likes the lion. Three. How many are in the series? If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was 10. Right? It's Yeah, there, there's 10 of them. I, I'm actually missing a few. I'm missing like the unicorn and the... Uh, Oh, uh, I think the Raven, something like that. Three, all right, two. Counting it down. Oh, what happened here? All right, typing in one. And I am typing in S-O-L-D. 
Sold. Dragon is my favorite. Yeah, you know, my, my son actually stole my dragon. I had a 10 ounce dragon and he traded me 11 American Silver Eagles for one 10 ounce dragon. Turns out that dragon is now worth God knows how much. It's like 650 bucks for the 10 ounce dragon. Craziness, man. Hey, congratulations. That was an awesome pickup. Uh, that again goes to MRG22 for 87. High bid, man. High bid. That was awesome. Let me go ahead and pull this off here carefully, right? All right, guys. There we go. That is the final item. So now we are left with the end of stream giveaway. End of stream giveaway. Let's let's move some things aside. All right, let's make some space. And we have the end of stream giveaway. So I have Green Husky is going to write down something. I'm not going to say what. Let me put this on mute real quick. Okay, we're back. Uh, Green Husky is going to write something down, right? And uh, let me get my deck of cards out. And you guys are going to do one guess only on something. Um, Hi, Drag Dad. I can make you a wallet, but just uh, be advised that it, it will have to ship next week because that's going to be the the end of it. <laughs> the last Silver Husky auction is next Sunday. So, yes, I can, I'm happy to make a wallet for you today, though. No worries. All right. Uh, here we go. If I win, I will give a couple uh, to others, too. Let's go, says I'm joking. The Griffin is hard to find. It is. It sure is. That's fine. I was just thinking about saving your money on shipping. Hey, all good, man. I'm good with that. We can totally do that for you, buddy. All right. I want a pet griffin. Very cool. All right. So let's do. I'm typing it in. One guess only. Richard Martin says, make a wallet for me. I'm going to ask the same thing. All right. Wallets, wallets for Vic, Richard, and Hydrag. All right. Uh, let's do one guess only. What's in the gaw? Okay, let's do that first. So you guys already know it's one guess only. What's in the gaw? Everybody needs to see that. I forgot. <laughs> How many likes are we at? 66. Not enough for the, the next addition to the gaw. Just a couple things. Oh, you know, just just some silver. Maybe just some stuff. All right, let's count it out, guys. So in this, there are two proof clad, right? Proof clad uh, Kennedys. So count that as a dollar, right? That's a dollar value, maybe a little bit more. We have some silver quarters. There's one dollar in silver quarters. Here we have a this one donated by Leonard S. How cool is that? Standing Liberty 1925, Standard, Standing Liberty Quarter. And then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. There's two dollars, right? One, two. Uh, 25, 35, 45. So this is 245 in Constitutional. I thought it was closer to three, but apparently it's 245. Look, there's a Merc Dime too. A couple Merc Dimes. One, two, three of them. Very cool. So there's some older stuff, some good Constitutional. Uh, this is roughly, I don't know, maybe like what, almost two ounces of silver. So that's pretty good, guys. That's a lot of stuff. So all of that can go to one person. Now we're going to play this as a game of high-low. Put all these back in the uh, in the bin, but we're gonna play this as a game of high low. So there's gonna be a question that's going to be asked, and you have to be the first person to get it right. If you get it right, that's three forty five silver husky. Really, was it? No, because the the proofs were not uh, silver. The proofs are clad, so I don't count those. It's three dollars forty five in in like monetary number, but it's not. As far as constitutional silver, that's not the same. It's not 345. But anyways, okay, let's get it, right? I'm with it. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to say guess us something. You're going to get one guess. If you get it right, then if you're the first person to get it right, then you get to play a game of high-low. Now, you have to get three in a row right on high-low, and I'll explain the rules when we get to it. If you get three in a row right, you get the end of stream. If you do not then we're going to go ahead and go straight to um, uh, this, sorry, this end of stream giveaway goes to the next auction, which is next Sunday. So the final auction. Can you confirm my payment, says D Winky. Uh, yeah, give me one second, D Winky. I will look right now. Let's see what we got. Um, 
I have D Winky, what'd you pay on? I see a bunch of payments came in, so I, I don't know. Oh, I did, I did. I saw one for 40, and I saw one for 37. D Winky, we're good, man. I got you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So here is the the thingy. <laughs> The thingy, the thing you're going to guess. Again, one guess only. My moderators will check that. Uh, we're going to do, here we go, um, name a country. Let me put it on that. All right. All right, we're looking. I got Spain. I got Canada. I got Germany, Italy, France, USA, Australia, Austria, Germany. Stop. Brazil. All right, it was Brazil. So we will say stop. All right, stop. It was Brazil. D Winky. D Winky, my friend. I've got you as the first Brazil. Actually, I think you're maybe the only Brazil. That was good, man. Good guess. All right, D Winky. I'm sure anyone else can confirm that cuz I didn't I don't see any others. So, all right, D Winky, here we go. I'm going to I'm going to shuffle this for you. That's pretty awesome, buddy. Now, you, remember, you have to get three in a row correct in order to win the high-low. So I'll explain the rules. I'm going to flip a card. You're going to tell me, will the following card be higher or lower? Uh, if you tie, it's in your favor. So you get, you get a freebie if you tie. Uh, if it's an ace or a two, that is the highest and lowest card. Ace is only high, right? Ace cannot be low. So here we go. I'm going to flip it. You ready? First card. Six. So do tell me, will the next one be higher or lower than a six? D-Winky says, go for it. Awesome. I got a couple people saying it should be higher. Let's see what comes up. I believe in you, man. I think you can do it. He says, hi. Let's go higher, guys. We're going to go higher. Here it is. Whoa, that is really high. Very good. All right. D-Winky. You have one right. Now, next one was a queen. Tell me, will it be higher or lower? Golden Spike Stacker, I'll explain in just a moment. Just a moment. He says low, lower. All right, here we go. Has to be queen or lower. Wow, and it's a two. So two makes it an automatic win because after that, you can only go higher. And there it is, it's a nine. So congratulations. D Winky, you win. You win, buddy. That entire end of stream is yours. All of this goes to D Winky. Man, you won it right here on the Silver Husky auction. So we will refill the coffer for next time for the next auction. There was a question of uh, how do, like, basically, the question was uh, why is next one the last auction for Silver Husky? Well, uh, great, great question. The answer to that is just that we've really got a whole lot going on with Metal Merchant. Uh, I, I, it's too many spinning plates. I can't uh, process this one while continuing to build the Metal Merchant. It's just impossible. It's like sleepless. <laughs> I can't sleep because there's too much going on. So I really need to focus more on, uh, on the Metal Merchant. So of course, you will be able to find the Silver Husky deals there, as well as Director of Awesome deals, as well as uh, juice stacker deals. You'll get all kinds of deals through Metal Merchant. Uh, you know, you can find us on Instagram. Websites literally ready to drop. We're populating it right now, so I'm expecting sometime this week it will most likely go on, go up. So here it is, guys. Let me read through these comments real quick. I see a bunch of stuff coming in. Um, Silver Husky, when this is done, can I post about a charity auction? Mask Man, of course. Of course you can. You, you're welcome to post what you're like the moderator of this channel. You please do, man. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congrats, D Winky. That's all coming to you, buddy. That is really cool. That was a good win, man. Did somebody say spin? I spin. All right, like you do spin class. That's cool, man. I used I did that like three times. It's exhausting. Spin class is exhausting. And Almighty comes in three hours late and says Chile. <laughs> Very good stuff, man. All right, sweet, sweet win. Good stuff. Say it ain't so, Husky. I know, man. And it's not to say I will never do an auction because I probably will. I mean, who knows where this business model will inevitably, inevitably met, uh, end up. We may do metal merchant auctions. I don't know. 
But for now, uh, the focus really needs to go into the development. And I just, I have to, man. So we're at 69 likes, guys. And thank you all so much for being here. Nezzalino, good to see you, my friend. Welcome. Uh, next week is the last auction, guys. Let's all be here uh, for ready to party, guys. It's going to be a, it's going to be a party. Uh, where do we go after the auction or where do we go to auction after you don't do your auctions anymore? Well, great question. So Stacking Stormtroopers started doing a 6 p.m. auction. Right now, I believe Lady Bullion has an auction going on at 4, so you can hop on over there. No, you have to watch my video. Uh, I'm the spinner. Oh, okay. I'll go watch your video then. <laughs> Sounds good, man. 5.30, Mama T's channel auction to raise money for Susan G. Komen Foundation. Hey, Breast cancer, that's good stuff, man. Let's get that going, too. Uh, can you hold the griffin? I'll be back for your last auction. Hey, yep, I got you. MRG22 will do a wallet for you. So I got wallets for Vic, Richard, uh, MRG22, and for uh, High Drag Dad currently. Uh, you'll be you'll be bought my JM Bullion for $10 million in one year. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. Can you give me my total, please? Nadilla, one second. Let me give you the total. Darth Stacker does auctions on Tuesday. That is correct. Darth Stacker does do auctions on Tuesday. Nadilla, one second. I'm going to look you up real quick. So, Nadilla, I have you uh, for $47 for the first toned round that you picked up. You want to uh, go into calculator for me? Can you do that? All right, 47 for the first toned round that you picked up. Then you picked up a Bird of Paradise for 42. Okay. And then Nadila, I have you for the 1915 Barber Quarter for 22. And then the Germania Allegories for 60 with $4 shipping. And that comes out to 175 even. 175 even, Nadila. All good. All right. Let me uh let me switch screens and see if we go to the um there we go oh it didn't work what the heck why isn't it working okay well i'm gonna leave it on this screen or maybe there we go be right back we'll leave it on that screen that's a good screen to be on all right stacking stormtroopers doing his auctions on sundays now that's at night he starts them at six so that's in about two hours uh green husky is working hard that is correct I hear the U.S. Mint is going to shut down for a while. They better not because I have something I'm buying on the 11th. Uh, if you guys don't know, go check it out. What are they dropping on the 11th? You'll want to get that if you if it's within your means. It's not it's not cheap, but it's if it's within your means, what they're dropping on the 11th might be a very good buy. All right, Golden Spike Stackers, some of these auctions, if someone uh, can speak for you, will let you bid on their auctions. Yeah, that's true. A lot of them will. Not a fan of membership auctions only. Yeah, that's I understand. But you know, let me so let me speak to that because again, my last auction is next week. Um, I've never had membership only auctions, but I will tell you, there's sometimes that some people go into an auction and they will bid on half the stuff there, and they will basically run up a tab of like a thousand bucks and not pay and disappear. And so the problem with that is, um, you know, the, the, the person, the bid, the auctioner is holding these items, expecting to get, you know, payment for it. And then they end up not getting payment paid for it. So it's basically all that effort and time into that one auction uh, to just realize that now you've got to do it all over again next week and hope that those people do pay. So it, it becomes a, a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, a headache, a nightmare if that happens. So thankfully, it's only happened to me about three or four times over the you know past six to eight months that I've been doing it, but I can see how it could definitely be a problem down the road. So anyways, guys, I just wanna thank you all for being here. Uh, shut down production, switch over to new dyes, uh, ex et cetera. Oh, really, I didn't know that. That's interesting, man. Next week should be members only. Most importantly, other bidders lose out. Oh my God, DOA, you are absolutely right. Because let's say you were the one who wanted that Griffin right? And you could have had it. You could have had it at, you know, 78 bucks. And then the person bids it up to 80 and you're like, I can't forget it. And then it's gone. Like, and then it's not gone. And you're like, wait, I could have had that. So it's, it can be a nightmare guys. It can be a headache. So thank you DOA for throwing that in there because you're right from the buyer's perspective, other people do miss out 
if the person doesn't pay. So easy way to fix that, make it members only. I get it. I have nothing against that. I totally understand when they do that. So yeah, no, it, it happens, dude. And again, if no one talks about it, no one knows it. So it's important we talk about that stuff. So again, I don't hate against it. I think it makes total sense for a lot of people to do that. So I'm going to leave you guys again with my commercial. And then I'm going to be uh, heading out um, for the uh, for the night. I have got a lot of a lot of work to do tonight. So hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. A great week. And we will see you next week on Sunday for the final Silver Husky auction. I'm sure this is about to be a mess when I switch over to live screen again to a different scene. So just bear with me, guys. Right.